following is a presentation of Radio Plus Sports. Radio Plus Sports. Barfnett there for the rebound. Crossover with the right hand. Throws it up for Johnson. Johnson spinning his way inside the paint with the elbow up and in. Bounce with the right hand. Hands off. Here comes Morgan. Dumps it. Good pass down. Oh, got it. For the Spartans. Ava Engel for Aubrey Leonard. Leonard, duel, dumps it down low. Madigan, and the hoop and the harm. Looks for Barfnett, long clutch three, got it. Lindsay pushes tempo near side. Looking for Shea in the corner, now takes it, now flips it. Shea, three, book it. Zimmerman, he'll try the right side with 7-10 left to play. Nobody steps out, and Mr. Blank says, why not? Edward Jones Representatives in Fond du Lac, Integrity Saw and Tool, Bauer Chiropractic, Fondy Family Dental, Baker Cheese. Right Way Home Improvement, Quest Interiors, Addison Jones Real Estate, Holiday Automotive, Taco Bell, Bristol Morgan Bank, Coal Oil and Propane, Pioneer Pit Stop, Marco Tax Service, Pizza Ranch, The National Exchange Bank and Trust, Marine Park Technical College, Silica for your home. Raderman Stone and Landscape, Dufresne Moving and Storage, Winfield Homes, Everson Law Office, Bob's Pizza, Airtech, Winnebago Lutheran Academy, Music She Metal, Scotty's Auto Works, St. Mary Springs Academy, Camera Casino, Fond du Lac Credit Union, Hopper's Silk Screen and All Star Trophy, New Medical Center, New Thig Industries, Pino Construction, Lens Truck Center, Fox Valley Savings, American Family Insurance Agent Brad Taglia Petra, BCI Burke, Marion University, Into the Woods Wellness, Smith Builders. Today's game is also presented by International Paper and Will Sport. Lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac. Let's go live to the Radio Plus Sports broadcast booth. Good Tuesday evening to you from the campus of Dodgeland High School. The gorgeous gymnasium here at Dodgeland. Jordan King with you here on RP Video Sports. And tonight in sectional number four in Division Four of the WIAA 2024 Boys Basketball Tournament. We have a 9-8 matchup. The number nine seeded and visiting St. Mary Springs Academy Ledgers. Fifth place finishers in the Flyway Conference with a 7-7 conference record and a 12-12 overall record here against the number eight seed Dodgeland uh, team, the Trojans. The Dodgeland uh, Trojans. 14-10 on the season and they were sixth place finishers in the pretty familiar Trailways East. You see enough Trailways East basketball here on RP Video Sports, and uh, uh, not a lot of Dodgeland maybe usually, but you certainly see a lot of Oakfield CWC uh, on, uh, on our airwaves. And uh, this is a conference that springs, and, and you'll hear Coach Krieger talking about this coming up uh, in just a few minutes on our Coach's Smile interview, but it, this is something where maybe you can get a little bit more apples to apples uh, comparison when you're talking about a team in a conference that you're familiar with. And uh, Springs has wins over Oakfield and CWC uh, this year in the non-conference, and they lost to Lourdes. So three of the eight teams in the uh, the East Central, or the excuse me, the Trailways East, uh, the Springs uh, Ledgers have matched up with all of them. So uh, in terms of you get into the postseason, you want to see someone different usually, right? That's kind of the thing. You're a little bummed out if you play a conference opponent in the first round of the postseason. You hope you can wait for those to be later on down the road. When everyone knows everything about someone, it's hard to beat a team three times. Uh, but if you're going to play someone maybe unfamiliar, perhaps it's nice to know a few things about them. And I think Springs will probably take a few things from that as well. But for Dodgeland, it all starts with a freshman. And again, uh, someone that, you know, we, we, uh, we pre preparing, excuse me, for this game, and you think, man, this Isaiah Younger, uh, number five, and you think, man, what a, what a player this guy is. 21.2 points per game, 5.8 rebounds per game. Just a tremendous player. And then you pull up the, uh, the stat sheet and you pull up the roster and he's a freshman. Uh, so certainly some, some bright years ahead uh, for Dodgeland High School with their 6'4 freshman as good as, as he looks to be already in year one for the Trojans. So 
21.2 points per game. After that, Caden Fillmore averages 9.5 points per game and 5.5 and rebounds. We're going to talk about rebounding at some point here in the pregame show because uh, I think that's going to be one of our keys to the game, as it usually is for Springs. But uh, I think when we look at this matchup tonight, this may be one of the, uh, one of the bigger tests for the Ledgers in terms of, of on the glass. So there you go. This is the Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show here on RP Video Sports. Appreciate the fine folks over at Integrity Saw and Tool uh, for allowing the, uh, the pregame show to happen here from Dodgeland High School. We're going to take an early time out here. Uh, during the pregame show, we're going to hear from Coach Krieger. We're going to talk about our keys to the game. Going to get an injury report, starting lineups, and much more. All on the way uh, on the pregame show. You're listening and watching Springs Basketball on Radio Plus. Joint or spine pain holding you back from the activities you love? Exhausted from relying on pain medications? Dreading the thought of steroid shots or invasive surgery? At New Medical Center, we believe in tapping into your body's own natural healing abilities. Our cutting edge regenerative treatments use your body's own natural biologics to repair and restore damaged tissues. Imagine getting back to a life of movement and freedom in one simple in-office procedure. No downtime, no lengthy hospital stays, and no painful recovery. Isn't it time you reclaimed your life from pain? Call us at 920-324-9899 or visit us online at newmedicalctr.com. That's New Medical Center, 920-324-9899. New Medical Center, 160 Gateway Drive in Wapan. What are you waiting for? Get back to living pain-free. Call New Medical Center now. Marco, the name our area trusts for all things related to your tax return. For over 60 years, our community has trusted the Marco Tax Service at 43 East 3rd Street, Fond du Lac. I would say the best part about our relationship with Bristol Morgan is the fact that they, they are local and they actually are there when we need them to be. Uh, they're very responsive and they do a great job for us so we keep coming back i mean you need a lending partner that's going to, to be there when you need them we've had a lot of growth over the last 15 years and specifically in the last five bristol morgan has always been here to to help us uh, find our way to that next level did you know that 70 percent of americans have less than one thousand dollars in their savings account that might not sound like a big deal until you have a major medical incident. Many insurance plans can require you to pay almost $9,000 out of pocket, making it nearly impossible to cover that expense. But this doesn't have to be your situation. Introducing MedElite by Evolution Benefits Association. A MedElite membership is a safety net of benefits that helps protect your family, your home, and your lifestyle when unexpected expenses occur. MedElite helps you pay those bills by giving every member access to a choice of benefits, including $10,000 of accident coverage, accidental death and dismemberment, life insurance and critical illness coverage, and $300 per week disability income. Imagine the peace of mind you'll have knowing that your financial future is more secure so you can focus on your recovery. That's MedElite. What can I do for you, man? You know what? Really craving nacho fries. You guys got any of those? Ads are working. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What ads? Oh, like all the like all the pictures I put over here in your in your bedroom. <laughs> oh, I put that there. See you later, man. Back here at Dodgeland High School, Jordan King with you this evening. Glad to have you along, and uh, I've already gotten a couple of of messages is saying, man, that looks like a gorgeous facility. It is. And uh, the pictures probably don't even do it justice over on the uh, off to our right. There's just a gorgeous Dodgeland uh, photo up on the wall, just kind of a mural. We'll try to get that. There you go. It's a, it's a beautiful facility. It really is. You got the uh, the kind of the 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 new era uh, painting inside of the three point arc. I know maybe some traditionalists don't maybe maybe like that. Um, but, uh, man, just a gorgeous facility here at Dodgeland High School. And, and by the way, just want to uh, hat, tip of the hat to Marsha and her crew. She's the athletic director down here, and she's taking very good care of us. 
uh, here tonight. So appreciate that. Always appreciate it when, when people uh, appreciate the coverage uh, a little bit. So there you go. As I mentioned, this is a 9-8 matchup. You know, it's kind of interesting, uh, kind of some parallels to last year. Last year, Springs was a one seed. Uh, and uh, later on in the postseason, they got knocked out. They got upset by the, by Kohler High School uh, in, a, in a season where Springs uh, certainly had all the designs and were ranked highly enough that maybe this was going to be a state-bound team from a season ago with Ramaker and Jans and, and so much talent on that team. Well, now the roles are reversed. Springs is the nine seed, upset uh, Dodgeland here tonight. They get a crack at Kohler coming up on Friday night. So uh, obviously you don't want to look ahead, but uh, as we, I just want to give you a picture of this, this sectional as a whole. Kohler is the one seed. The two seed is Sheboygan Lutheran. They play the winner of Laconia Cedar Grove, Belgium, another uh, area uh, flyway team in Laconia playing tonight. They are hosting Cedar Grove, Belgium. That's a 7-10 matchup and with an opportunity to go and play Sheboygan Lutheran on the road on Friday. The three seed is Howard's Grove. The four seed is Manitowoc Lutheran. So those are the top four seeds in this, uh, in this little cluster uh, of the top half of sectional four. Down at the bottom, Milwaukee Juno, Heritage Christian, Kenosha St. Joe's, Milwaukee Lifelong Learning. Those are the top teams in terms of seeding down at the bottom of this bracket. So th that's how it stacks out. Uh, if you're thinking about uh, area teams, both Amro and WLA had buys. Lemire is hosting Bigfoot, Laconia, as I mentioned, Cedar Grove, Belgium, Mayville, Campbell Sport, North Fond du Lac, all on the road here for their first uh, matchups as well. And, of course, many D5 teams in the, uh, uh, in the Trailways East. So you look at the Trailways East, they're all in action tonight because uh, the, uh, the, the Division Four teams weren't quite seated quite seated highly enough to, to be able to have a bye, and all of the D5 teams across the board play. As I mentioned, Dodgeland, 6-8. In the Trailways East, finished sixth place behind Houstisford, Horicon, CWC, Oakfield, and Lourdes. Lourdes and Oakfield split, topped the Flyway Conference, shared, or excuse me, the Trailways East Conference. They shared that title. CWC finished a game out, and Horicon a couple of games back. So that's, uh, that's what it looks like in terms of the context of this game. Springs comes in averaging 65.2 points per game. Dodgeland uh, just shy of that in, in what is usually a, a lower scoring trailways east i think the flyway gets up and down plays in transition maybe a little bit more than the trailways east does think about oakfield and cwc and some of these teams that maybe want to grind out some possessions uh, in that uh, in that conference so maybe it makes sense that dodgeland's a few points per game less than springs is uh, so uh, in terms of scoring it's going to be an interesting one the rebounding battle we're going to get to a little bit later on here in the pregame show as well you know, we've been telling you about it all season long. Lens Truck Center, this time, presents our Athlete of the Week. And uh, each week, Radio Plus will feature an Athlete of the Week. And uh, how could you pick anyone other than someone from the Laconia girls basketball team with how they're playing? And this week, it was Peyton Morgan. Here's our Lens Truck Center Player of the Week. Each week, Lens Truck Center and Fond du Lac salutes an area athlete. Congratulations to Peyton Morgan from Laconia. She wins the honor this week. In a regional semifinal victory over Trivets on Friday night, she pumped in 12, including four threes. Molly Duell kicks it for Peyton. Shot three, yes! In the regional championship game on Saturday night, she chipped in nine points. What corner there is right now with the students. Here's a Morgan three. Peyton Morgan gets things under way on the feed from Tierney Madigan. And was one of the leaders leading Laconia to a regional championship. Yeah, you just gotta have that confidence even going in the second half. It wasn't wasn't a pretty first half, but you just gotta have the confidence. Congratulations to Laconia's Peyton Morgan, our Athlete of the Week this week from Lens Truck Center and Radio Plus. If you want a truck for an SQV, go to Lens so you like what you see. Hundreds of trucks all on one lot. If you want a truck, it's what we've got. Lance Truck, Lance Truck. We got the trucks at Lance Truck. We got the trucks. We'll sport by Wisconsin Lighting Lab. Sports lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Sport, a premium sports lighting system. 
factory direct application and product support along with its full line of complete LED lighting solutions will transform your athletic facility to the next level. Create an unforgettable fan and player experience. So get started with upgrading your outdoor or indoor sports venue. Visit willbrands.com. Since the beginning, your curious mind and imagination have guided you, where tools and technology helped you discover the world. At Moray Park Technical College, you will train on industry-leading machines blended with hands-on learning. World-class instructors will help you shape and design your future in manufacturing. Homegrown, life ready. Moraine Park Technical College. Camden is a student from the Fond du Lac community. He joins us to give his wellness journey from Into the Woods Wellness. Back in May, I started to get very tired and I wasn't sure what was really going on with me. It started progressively getting worse, really high fever. I just really wasn't getting out of bed much. And that's when I went to my doctor. They took my blood, told me I had mono. My symptoms slowly went away, but what stayed behind was the fatigue and exhaustion. I was falling asleep, I was always tired. My mom mentioned that there was a place I could go get these IV treatments that would hopefully help me. I got my first IV treatment. I felt a little bit better. Went back week after week. By about the third week, I was feeling just amazing. I hadn't felt like this in several months. I was up again. I was hanging out with my friends. I could go to work full days, and I felt like a totally new person again. Log on into the woods journey.com. Into the Woods Wellness, where you can start your own wellness journey. At Camera Casino, we are making magic happen. If you have a lot of slides sitting at home, we can magically put them on a CD for you. Need a different lens? We can fix that. If you need something to carry all of your equipment, watch this. Oh, sometimes smaller is better. Whether you're looking for cameras, tripods, or accessories, Camera Casino can make magic happen for you. For over 100 years, the name coal is synonymous with quality fuels, lubricants, and propane. That's because coal is the area's trusted source for farm, construction, and trucking companies as they partner with these companies to help them achieve their unique goals. The team at Coal Oil & Propane is dedicated to serving you. They pride themselves on a customer-first approach and work hard to make sure you're satisfied. You can rely on coal for prompt delivery, competitive prices, and quality service. Learn more at coaloilandpropane.com. Back here, Integrity Sound Tool pregame show. Jordan King with you here this evening for some WIAA regional action. Fondy Family Dental Coach's Smile Interview. Dr. Chad, his team at Fondy Family Dental make you smile before, after, and yes, even during your appointment. And here with Springs Coach, uh, Coach Kyle Krieger. And Coach, um, a, lot of, a lot of teams talk about it. Uh, you have season one, uh, which is kind of the non-con. Maybe season two is the conference. And then you get to this season, which is the playoffs. And uh, as every team knows, anything can happen. Uh, you guys come in as a nine seed. What, what's the message to the team before uh, your first game here tonight at Dodgeland? Well, we're starting over just like they are. Um, and I use all the coaching cliches as everybody else, right? It's a new season, zero and zero record. Um, you know, you got you to gotta play well every single game, win or you go home, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I see two teams that are very – Comparable here, obviously, with an eight and a nine seed. Um, we know we have to play well. Um, I think we played well in our last game. Um, and we had a really good practice last night. And usually on Mondays, we do not have good practice. So it was nice that our team finally figured it out after like 54 practices uh, how to practice on a Monday night. You know, uh, as l little wins, right? Uh, as, as you look at getting to the postseason, sometimes it's nice to see unfamiliar teams. And you guys haven't played Dodgeland, but you do have familiar with fam familiarity, excuse me, with this conference, Trailways East. You played a number of teams, especially the top teams from this conference. Um, th is that any indication as to what you can expect with Dodgeland? Um, I don't think it's any indication, but when you watch. You know, say you, you pull a game off of YouTube and it's Oakfield versus uh, Dodgeland. I mean, we know Oakfield, right? So we know, you know, their players fairly well. 
Um, so it is almost like comparing apples to apples, not quite. But, you know, we won't know for sure until we tip this game off at 7. But, um, you know, we don't assume ever anything. You know, you have to play well. Um, you know, games, it, it, there's, a, there's a small margin for error for our team. We know that. And, uh, you know, we know we have to play well to move on and advance to a game on Friday. Uh, when you look at Dodgelin, anything in particular that stands out to you? Um, well, they have a freshman, 6'4", lefty freshman that's averaging 21 points a game. Um, that That's a lot of points. I mean, you know, a typical high school kid, oh, I'd love to average 10 points a game. They don't realize how hard it is. 20 is really hard. Um, they have good size. I think they'll start three guys that are 6'4", another guy 6'3", and then a guard that's about 5'10". So if you'd average out our heights, they win tonight. But, uh, you know, I think we're physically, I think one strength that we have over them is our physical strength. Now let's hope that converts to baskets. But, uh, you know, they have, they have decent size. And like I said, the one, the one outstanding scorer, uh, their next scorers are in the 8 and 9 range. So he, he carries a lot of weight. I always like to highlight one guy, uh, and from your team coach, the last, and I know we, we did this before Laconia too, and you mentioned how Sam has, has kind of really kind of getting back into the groove of things, uh, not playing basketball the past couple of years. But, I mean, he went from a couple of points a game, maybe a basket and a half a game. Now he's averaging eight points. He's getting on the glass as well a little bit more the last couple of weeks. Uh, what have you liked in terms of his progression throughout the season? Yeah, I know about midseason we said, hey, man, you got to get on the glass more because he was – averaging maybe a board and a half and he's picked that up you know the scoring is nice as well um, because the more people you have that can score the ball the harder you are to defend so since he's been doing that I'd say the last quarter of the season it makes us more difficult to defend um, now he he uh, got a, a knee in the thigh against Wapan so he did not play against North Fondy um, we're hoping, I mean, he will start tonight. We're hoping that he can give us all he's got. Um, but if he's not healthy enough, we'll have to look to some other guys. But I hope we have him. Be a big part for tonight. Coach, uh, best of luck. Go get him, WIA Regionals. All right. Thanks, Jordan. And let's uh, hopefully see you on Friday. Uh, there you go. There you go. Hey, might as well plan on it, right? Yeah. All there right. you go. Appreciate it, Coach. Uh, that's Coach Krieger with the Fondy Family Dental Coach's Smile Interview. Stay with us here on the Integrity Sun Tool pregame show. We roll on with plenty more. Got our injury report. Just heard a little bit on that. Starting lineups, much more coming here on the pregame show. Stay with us. Go ahead. Let the daydreams of spring begin. Shop the Auto Show sales event at Holiday. See all that's new. Get more Mazda for your money, more for your trade, and drive inspired on the road trips ahead in a new all-wheel drive Mazda. Lock in 0% five-year financing now on select Mazda CX-30 and CX-50 models. Come be our guest and experience the award-winning care at Wisconsin's number one. Find yours and discover the difference at Holiday Mazda Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip. Here at Pizza Ranch, we believe in happy accidents. Like in 1964, when a Buffalo, New York restaurant owner accidentally bought chicken wings instead of chicken necks. The 60s were a crazy time. Well, decades later, and the mistake-turned-masterpiece is now at Pizza Ranch. Introducing our new traditional and boneless chicken wings, tossed in our signature sauces. Two more ways to get the country's best chicken available for carryout and delivery. Maybe it wasn't an accident after all. Just delicious fate. Pizza Ranch. Mmm, mmm. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, come on, Tommy. Come on. Come on. Well, come on. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. Come here. Come on. Jackson, are you going to come over here? A personal experience with a custom feel. Each home Smith Builders builds is unique. The design and selections perfectly crafted for you. To learn more, visit smithbuildersinc.com or stop by 227 Morris Court. Smith Builders of Fond du Lac. Traditional values, exceptional services. A proud sponsor of local high school sports. 
Integrity Saw and Tool is a proud sponsor of Fond du Lac Area Sports. They wish the best of luck to all local teams this fall and winter. Integrity prides itself on being the fastest producer of high-quality cutting tools and providing the most reliable sharpening service in the industry. If you're looking for a challenging career with excellent benefits and a family atmosphere, contact the team at IntegritySaw.com. That's IntegritySaw.com. Back here, Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show. Glad to have you along here this evening. Got springs warming up right behind me. WIAA regional quarter, or excuse, yeah, regional quarterfinal action here between Dodgeland and St. Mary Springs Academy. Bauer Chiropractic, as always, presents our injury report this evening. Uh, got pain? See Shane, Dr. Shane Bauer, and the fine folks over at Bauer Chiropractic. You know, Springs lost Caden Pitts a couple of weeks ago, and he's not going to return this season. And uh, he was really coming after. Com- he was really coming along in terms of his ability on the glass. And I think replacing that's been a big deal for Springs. And you heard Coach Krieger talk about Sam Lucas. And Lucas is a little dinged up, but if he can start to kind of be that next guy after Noah Mowell to chip in on the glass, I think the more that you can replace the the production of Caden Pitts rebounding-wise is going to be big for Springs. I think that's one of the keys to the game. Springs has not played a team that rebounds as well as Dodgeland does. And I know Springs has the physicality aspect. You heard Coach Krieger talk about that. But from a height perspective, from a go-get-the-basketball perspective, there's not many that do it quite like Dodgeland does, and Springs hasn't seen many of those teams either. So I think that's one of the fascinating things as I look at some of the keys to the game. International Paper presents the keys to the game. Apply today at jobs.internationalpaper.com. Rebounding is going to be a big one. It always is with Springs. Taking care of the basketball is always big. But making shots is going to be the biggest thing. Neither one of these teams is very good shot-making teams, as you might expect with teams that are in the 8-9 matchup. But that's going to be a big one tonight. Can Springs knock down some perimeter shots? We know they're going to get after it on the glass. Uh, that's one of the, the big keys here tonight. Let's take a timeout. We'll come back. We'll have our Sargento Cheese starting lineups, and we'll get ready for tip in just a couple of minutes here on Radio Plus. This is Craig Larson, sales manager with locally owned Dufresne Moving and Storage. Moving is very important to me, and I take pride in making sure our clients are happy with their overall experience at a reasonable cost and done in a high quality manner. We have a crew that is dedicated on taking care of your stuff. Call me today for an estimate at 1-800-425-MOVE or visit us at DufresneMoving.com. Dufresne Moving and Storage of Fond du Lac. Making your move and storage of goods simple. You dream it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops with most installed by next week and completed in just one day. And because we fabricate our countertops in-house, you can buy direct and save money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Scotty's Auto Works, for affordable auto care from tires and alignments to routine auto maintenance. Trust the guys at Scotty's Auto Works, next to Pump and Pantry Fond du Lac. Today's game is brought to you by Edward Jones and these area Edward Jones financial advisors. Robert Bruce, located at 976 East Johnson Street. Patrick Ellistad, located at 560 Fond du Lac Avenue. Matt Moses, located at 68 North Main Street and Jeff Wills, located at 649 Fond du Lac Avenue. Good luck to all athletes in today's game. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Back here on RadioPlusInfo.com, glad to have you along this evening. Uh, from the campus of Dodgeland High School. And uh, we have our starting lineups presented by Sargento Cheese. Start your new career at careers.sargento.com. And wasn't able to catch up with Coach White before he came out of the locker room for the Dodgeland Trojans. So we'll get that. We'll uh, pass that along to you after we find out in the arena who the starters are. But got the starters, of course, for the St. Mary Springs Academy Ledgers. And they've had to shuffle this around. Caden Pitts, like I mentioned, down on the floor. I mean, he was. 
this was a guy who was a big deal for Springs, and he was really rounding into his own and becoming a dominant force on this team and no longer available for the rest of the season. So their starters, number one is Sam Lucas. Lucas, a 6'1", 180-pound senior guard, and uh, Lucas is having uh, himself uh, a nice season, as we mentioned, back up to uh, about a, reb- a couple of rebounds a game, almost two and a half rebounds per game. He averages eight points. Ben Baker is number two, 5'10", sophomore guard, and has really done a nice job to, uh, he's had his lumps here as his sophomore season, but done a nice job to kind of stay level-headed through everything. Six and a half points, four and a half rebounds, three and a half assists, and three deflections a game for Ben Baker, a guy that just does everything from that point guard spot. Number three is Ben Anderson back into the starting lineup, six points, three and a half rebounds, two and a half assists, and a couple of deflections a game for the six-foot, 165-pound junior guard. John Kuhn, 6'2", 190-pound senior guard, starts for the Ledgers. He's their second leading scorer, 13 points, four and a half rebounds, four assists per night for John Kuhn, the leading assist man on the team. And then the man who leads it in points, rebounds, and deflections is number 21, the 6'3", 220-pound junior forward, Noah Mowell. And he's where things start and finish with the Ledgers. 17 points, just about, 16.8. 9.1 rebounds and four deflections per game for Noah Mowell. That good for sixth in the Flyway Conference in terms of scoring. There you go. Those are your starters presented by Sargento Cheese. When we come back, we'll have our right way home improvement opening tip-off. Let's take a time out. They're going to meet the starters in the building, also have our national anthem, and we'll be back ready to tip things off in this WIAA D4 regional quarter after this. Stay with us. Did you know that 70% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account? That might not sound like a big deal until you have a major medical incident. Many insurance plans can require you to pay almost $9,000 out of pocket, making it nearly impossible to cover that expense. But this doesn't have to be your situation. Introducing MedElite by Evolution Benefits Association. A MedElite membership is a safety net of benefits that helps protect your family, your home, and your lifestyle when unexpected expenses occur. MedElite helps you pay those bills by giving every member access to a choice of benefits, including $10,000 of accident coverage, accidental death and dismemberment, life insurance, and critical illness coverage, and $300 per week disability income. Imagine the peace of mind you'll have knowing that your financial future is more secure so you could focus on your recovery. That's MedElite. At our store, it's about the people, and it's about the experience you have from the minute you walk through our doors. It's about serving you and listening to what you came in for. It's having real conversations with people in our community, and it's giving back. It's being a one-stop shop for all your electronic, appliance, and home furniture needs. Since 1922, we've been sharing our knowledge and providing pieces that make your life just a little bit better. Silica for your home. Winfield Homes is a locally owned custom home building company of over 25 years that prides itself on great service, high quality, and providing the best building experience possible. Owners Jim Boudry and Jason Zellner are there for you every step of the way to ensure that your new home is built just the way you've dreamed it to be. With the same passion that they have for their clients' homes, Jim and Jason are proud supporters of and are personally involved in youth sports programs and are truly committed to their success. Winfield Homes wishes you all the best of luck this season. Sargento has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, come on, show me. Come on, come on. Well, come on. Come on. Yeah, good boy, come here, come on. Jackson, are you gonna come over here? Back here on Radio Plus, 
Jordan King with you, and that's going to wrap up the Integrity Sawn Tool pregame show. And as we do, just about ready for our right way home improvement, improvement excuse me, opening tip off. From doors and gutters to roofs and siding, right way home improvement has you covered. Kick off your home project today. Contact right way home improvement for your free estimate. Call 920 929 8999. That's 920 929 8999. Or visit rightwaybuilt.com. That's rightwaybuilt.com. And just about to have the starters introduced here in the arena. You just uh, had the Springs players, a reminder of those. One Lucas, two Baker, three Anderson, 10 Kuhn, 21 Mao. And they're gonna get things ready to roll here for the Trojans. Number three is Cohen Erstad. He's a senior forward. Erstad averages six points and eight rebounds along with four assists. Number five is Isaiah Younger, and he's the, the man who leads everything for uh, Dodgeland. 21.2 points, six rebounds per game for Younger. Number 11 is Caden Fillmore. Number 22 is Easton Wolter, and number 23 is Braden Staub. Those are the starters for Dodgeland. Springs in their road blues with the black down the side. They'll be going left to right on your stream screen. And the Trojans in their home whites. Got the, uh, the purple trim, purple numbers, and uh, that big purple bar across the shoulders as well. Dodgeland hailing out of this trailways east and Springs out of the flyway. Throw all those records away now. It's postseason play. Win and survive. And you get to advance to Friday and take on the Kohler Blue Bombers. Tip oh, tip is up in one by Cohen Erstad. And the first possession will go to the Trojans. Erstad's got it straight back on the pass from Fillmore. Top of the key straight to their best player. Younger kicks it out to the corner. Here's a three. Fillmore missed it. And a good, nice box out from Ben Baker. The 5'10 sophomore throws it off the... Knee of the freshman younger, and that's Ben Baker in a nutshell right there, ladies and gentlemen. 5'10", b- blocking out uh, number 22, Easton Walter. And uh, Walter, well, he goes 6'1", and had no chance for that rebound with Ben Baker. Here is Mowell, kicks it out to Sam Lucas. Lucas, been better offensively, decides not to go up with it, and ends up with Baker. Here is Ben Baker, out to Kuhn. John Kuhn, near side Lucas, jab step, now going to go baseline. Spins, kicks it out. Anderson, top of the key, wide open. Ben Baker for three. He's got it. That's the way you want to start if you're Springs. Ben Baker, their best three-point shooter, gets one up, and he hits it. Reminiscent a little bit that possession of the first possession at Mayville, which we were there for. Both of these teams have won just two of their last eight games. Here's a Rip through and a deflection there from John Kuhn. On the floor is Anderson. Anderson throws it up, and Kuhn's able to deflect it. Last touched by Fillmore. So a turnover for Dodgeland. And Springs with a 3-0 lead on the Quest Interior scoreboard will have their second possession of the night. And the pressure extending past half court here from Walter, who's guarding Ben Baker. Hands off to Kuhn. Far side with Lucas. Down to the corner there trying to post up Mowell. Mowell working against Cohen Erstad. And here's the entry pass. It's a little loose there from Anderson. Tough angle to try to bounce it underneath to Noah Mowell and a turnover going back the other way. Springs uh, is a really good passing team. They, you know, in terms of assists to baskets, they have assisted 17 of 24 baskets on average this season. Looked like a shuffling of the feet underneath, but Staub continues. Working on John Kuhn. Kicks it back out here to Erstad. It's it's positionless basketball from Dodgeland. That is the one thing you do see. And Younger is going to go to the free throw line. Isaiah Younger is 65% free throw sh- shooter. Neither one of these teams are very good from the line. And Springs would tell you that they're not, haven't had a good season from the free throw line, just 59% and Dodgeland's a couple of percentage points lower than that, just 57 from the, the free throw line, but Younger hits the first here, the lefty. And the first point on the Quest Interior scoreboard for Dodgeland. Younger 
Second free throw up and good. So he's got his first two points, a man who averages 20-plus points per game. Make it 21 to be exact. Here's Ben Anderson as the press is easily broken by Springs. Down to the corner, Sam Lucas for three. He's got a three. So back-to-back threes. Well, I should say two of their first three possessions end up with threes and a 6-2 to two lead for Springs. And here's a Ben Anderson steal in transition. He goes down the right side, up and in. So it's eight of the first ten being scored here for the Ledgers, and they have a six-point lead, 15.45 to go first half. Bounce pass, that's dangerous. Mowell almost had a steal in transition. A couple of live ball turnovers. Here's another as Kuhn gets his second deflection here in the first couple of minutes. Anderson into the front court. Shuffles to John Kuhn. It's saved by Younger. Nice hustle, but it's straight off of the foot of Cohen Erstad. High School Sports Today on RadioPlusInfo.com is presented by these four Fond du Lac area Edward Jones Financial Advisors. Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, Robert Bruce, and Patrick Ellisted. Edward Jones making sense of investing. 8-2 Springs lead. Trying to get Sam Lucas in the corner here free. He is trailed by Younger. That was a nice job. Here goes Noah Mowell, and Mowell to the hoop. Hard to stop that, and there you see maybe what Coach Krieger was talking about in terms of the physical advantage that Springs might have. You know, the height is kind of negligible, but uh, the width is certainly something for Springs to lean on. And here's a turnover from Stiller. Stiller and o- uh, Landon Stiller and Owen Cotter both into the game at that last juncture. And a quick turnover here from Dodgeland as Springs. This is just the start the doctor ordered. Here is Noah Mowell. Mowell, backdoor cut. John Kuhn, that's how you break the press, boys and girls. And all five spring starters have scored. And it's a 30-second timeout for Dodgeland. We're going to take it with them. Springs with a 10-point lead. Stay with us. Gas prices, home expenses, education. Will those costs always go up? Probably. At Winnebago Lutheran Academy, we can help you with one of them. We are a part of the Wisconsin Parental Choice Program, a program which enables qualifying families to receive a quality Christian education at no cost. That's right, zero tuition if you qualify. To learn more, visit WLAVikings.org. Living it for four years, loving it forever. Tonight's game powered in part by Will Sport, sports lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. To get started upgrading your outdoor or indoor sports venue, Visit www.willbrands.com. 12-2 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Caden Krusek into the game for the Ledgers as they continue to try to turn over Dodgeland. They've gotten a couple of live ball turnovers, and Dodgeland's thrown a couple away. Krusek almost has a steal. Now he does have a steal. In the backcourt, he finds Mowell. And here come the Ledgers once again. Here is Kuhn. Kicks it out. Lucas, same spot from the first one. Missed this one. A little bit strong for Sam Lucas, and long rebound out to Cohen Erstad. For the Trojans, crossing over. Erstad working on Anderson, down to the corner with Walter. Walter, Mowell gives him the baseline, trapped then, kicks it out, top of the key, nice take here, blocked by Mowell. Mowell sent that one back in a hurry. Eurostep through, and Sam Lucas pays it off at the other end. He's got five. Oh, and Cotter went down the lane, and it was erased by Noah Mowell. Oh, baby, what a play. Stiller's got it on the right wing. Snaps a pass near side with Wolter. And Dodgeland blinked, and they're down by a dozen. Here goes Younger. He's got the only two points tonight for Dodgeland. Near side with Erstad. Backdoor cut. That's a tough pass, and it's handled by Younger. Younger down the lane. Scoops it up. Misses, but he's fouled. So Younger's gotten something going here in terms of getting to the hoop and drawing some contact. And the foul this time on Ben Anderson, who hacked him at the rim. Second team foul on Springs. As I mentioned, all five starters for Springs scored before the 14-minute mark, and that's certainly been something that has been an issue, has been the offensive production a little bit for Springs. And, you know, you say that, and you're like, man, they average 65 points a game. Yeah, well, when you compare that to some other teams in the flyway, most notably Laconia, WLA, and Amro, and uh, it's a pretty pedestrian number. And uh, they got it going here tonight, though. So uh, the 65% free throw shooter younger is 4 for 4 to start here. Tyler Hoffman, early action for him. The junior, kind of a shooting specialist, a good rebounder as well for Springs on the floor. Here's Krusik. Hands off to John Kuhn with the 
looping action here, and Hoffman's caught in the middle of the paint, gets it over to Baker. Down to John Kuhn. Kuhn, strong drive up with the floater, missed it off the side of the backboard, rebound down with Stiller. 13 and a half minutes to go for his half, 10-point Springs lead. That one, Erstad wasn't even looking, it hit him in the shoulder. Here's Hoffman with the steal, and a foul into the front court, and they're going to get Fillmore here with the foul. Caden Fillmore with his first personal, first team foul as well, whistled on Dodgeland. So turnovers has been a big deal here, too. I mean, Springs has done a nice job. They've had a couple of turnovers, but for the most part, taking care of the ball. No live ball turnovers yet for Springs either, and that has not been the case for the Trojans. Here goes John Kuhn, strong move, and he that somehow doesn't fall for Kuhn, and he'll go to the free throw line. Kuhn struggles a little bit from the charity stripe, 51.2% on the season, and the first trip to the line tonight for Springs comes from their senior leader. First free throw for Kuhn, all the way down, popped out. By the way, that was number two on Fillmore. So just two team fouls, but both of them going on Caden Fillmore for the Trojans. 15 to four after a one for two trip for John Kuhn. Here's Fillmore in the front court, finds Cotter. Cotter snaps a pass over to Younger. This one's short, and it rattles around, no good. Rebound is down with Springs. They clear it. Here's Baker up ahead. John Kuhn lays it up, missed it. Offensive rebound and the putback for Noah Mowell. Mowell runs the floor as well as anyone you'll see, any big man you'll see. And he's rewarded there. Here goes Younger down the paint. Pivots once, pivots twice, kicks it over here to Cotter. Nice defense by Baker. Baker on the floor. Cotter's past him now. Down the middle of the paint, one-handed pass. Kuhn, deflection. He's got another deflection. Down the lane goes Erstad. There's Springs players flying everywhere. And a closeout here from Hoffman just a little bit late there as Cotter hits the three. I don't think Coach Krieger is going to worry about that at all. All five guys were throwing their bodies around, and that, that he will worry about. It's a turnover as Kuhn couldn't find Hoffman. But all five Springs guys were laying on the floor at one point or another in that last possession, and you give up a three after you scramble, and you love the hustle from both Baker and Kuhn, even though it puts you in a little bit of a disadvantage, almost had turnovers. Here's a shot fake from Stiller. Gets the ball over here to Fillmore. Fillmore guarded by Braden Freund. Once again to Stiller. Stiller, Fillmore. Baseline drive, work in against Hoffman. Count the basket and the foul for Caden Fillmore. So a little bit of momentum here for the Trojans as they cut this down to an eight-point lead. And the third team foul, first personal on Tyler Hoffman. And a chance to cut it to a seven-point game from the line for Caden Fillmore. And Fillmore pays it off as well. You know, we're still seeing some of this token pressure from Dodgeland, the more pressure they've put on Springs, the worse it's been for the Trojans in terms of giving up baskets at the other end. But maybe they feel like they got to sp uh, speed Springs up. A lot of contact there, no whistle. Underneath, Mowell, there was goodness. And there's a turnover forced by Noah Mowell. And Mowell just kept playing. He didn't worry about complaining at all. He got up, popped up, started hounding the pass and forced a turnover. But my goodness, was there a lot of contact on that underneath. 11 and a half minutes to play first half and a lob in here to Mowell. He finds Sam Lucas. Baker off of a Mowell screen, wide open from the left wing, missed it. Offensive rebound, Noah Mowell. Mowell, one power dribble, goes up with it, leaves it short. Rebound tipped, and the rebound down with Landon Stiller for the Trojans. Here's Fillmore in transition. Good job to stop the ball by Ben Baker. And another Caden Krusik deflection. He's got it on the floor, hands it off. Here's Sam Lucas, right side, up with the shot, missed it. And a nice contest there by Cohen Erstad. And Erstad maybe got away with a little bit of a bump on Noah Mowell, but that looked clean working on Sam Lucas there. And another turnover. Erstad looking for Fillmore and more sloppy basketball. So after Dodgeland spotted Springs about a 12-point lead, 11-12-point lead, they've chiseled back into it, but some more sloppy play from the Trojans. 
Here's Ben Anderson who's going to run point. By the way, Jack Vandersand in along with Max Bauer out onto the floor for their first action. And here's a foul on Younger with the hip check. And they were just, that was the, uh, the run and jump there. They were just doubling everything. And it was either going to end up with a steal or a foul, you felt like there. Here's Bauer, and he'll lob it into Anderson. 10.45 to go here in this first half, and Bauer catches just across the timeline, gets to the middle of the paint, kicks it to the corner. Braden Freund's an excellent three-point shooter. You just saw why. He drains his first one on the season. Freund is a 38% three-point shooter. Now, his sample size isn't quite as good as Ben Baker. That's why I didn't say he was the best, but statistically, he certainly is. Another live ball turnover. Bauer, pass up ahead to Sam Lucas, and it wasn't tipped, so it goes back over to Dodgeland. But again, Coach Krieger is, is standing up applause there for that idea from Max Bauer. You got the turnover, but it's not a lazy turnover, and it's not a turnover where, you know, it's, it's a mental. That, that one, you're trying to push it up for an easy bucket. And more times than not, Sam Lucas is going to get his hands on that. There's a block from John Kuhn. Hammers that back down from Younger as the freshman went up for it. 20-10 to 10 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Been a great pace to this first half. And uh, I'll tell you what, Dodgeland looks like they could play in the Flyway Conference with how they get up and down the floor. There was no touch there, so it'll be Springs basketball under the hoop. And Ben Baker is going to come in for Ben Anderson. Younger is going to get a little bit of a break as well for Dodgeland. The first time for him on the bench is, well, Trio and White is at the scorer's table. He's not in the game yet, but he'll come in next time. Here's John Kuhn, top of the key with Bauer. Baker's open in the corner. Here goes Sam Lucas, spins down the paint, gets to the middle of the paint, lobs the pass over here to Max Bauer. Bauer with the three, comes up short over the backboard, and it'll go back over to the Trojans. So White's onto the floor now, and that was not long for Younger. He's going to check back in as well, see who he's coming in for. we got six Trojans on the floor, and Fillmore is going to run off the jog off the floor. And we'll continue with 9.50 to go in the first half. Springs defensively, that intensity has been the story here in the first half. Younger gets to the middle of the paint, kicks it down there to Walter on the bounce, and it ends back up with Younger. Younger down the lane, out of control, traveled. And back over to Springs, another first half turnover for the Trojans. Baker in the back. Backcourt, doubled, gets it to Bauer, and they break the press again. Springs has yet to turn the ball over. Well, in the backcourt, let me finish that before we get the turnover there as Younger were able to strip Bauer and into the front court. White trapped a little bit. Younger's got it now out top of the key, working on Max Bauer. Bauer forces him to spin a couple of times and a foul at the hoop. And it will be the third trip to the line tonight for Isaiah Younger. I didn't check how many free throws he's shot this year, but I would imagine it's a lot. Does a nice job getting to the hoop and putting pressure on the oppo both the opponents and the officials, really, to uh, make the call. And he has tonight been a terrific free throw shooter. I know on the season just a 65% shooter. That's probably right about smack dab average for high school players, at least based on what I've seen. And the second free throw is missed. Long rebound, tipped up by Erstad, and it's going to stay with the Trojans. Here's White working on Bauer. Check that, it's Baker. And near side, here's Erstad again. Fillmore guarded by Lucas. Near side with Younger. He's got five points. Gets the ball to the floater, missed it. Nice job by Noah Mal. Went straight up and down, didn't move. And here is Krusik into the front court, missed it. And the rebound on the weak side was taken in by Fillmore. Erstad to White. Bounce pass down underneath. And a nice play by... Going to get a foul here as Noah Mal poked it away from Younger. Younger got Baker matched up there and just lowered his shoulder. I think if Baker would have uh, fallen over, that might have been an offensive foul, but did a nice job to keep his feet. That was a pretty aggressive move there. And here's another live ball turnover. Krusik 
over to Baker, and Baker's going to slow things down. No, he's going to get John Kuhn on the run. Kuhn, oh, up and under with the left hand. He went up with the right, recollected, scooped up with the left, and it's 11 point Springs lead. Crossover here for Erstad. Finds Fillmore. Fillmore working on Sam Lucas. And another live ball turnover. It's Baker getting his hands in a passing lane. Got the ball, shovels it to Krusik. Krusik blocked from behind. Nice job, Erstad. Here's Ben Baker. He has that one deflected as it was Wolter who got his hand on that one. So a couple of blocks in transition. Keep this from becoming Spring's biggest lead of the night. 11 is tied for the biggest. Here goes White with the scoop up. Trewin White was not even, I don't think he was even looking to shoot that ball, but he just realized no one was between him and the hoop. And a little bit of momentum, but still a nine point Springs lead. It's a 30 second timeout, take it with them here on Radio Plus. Winfield Homes is a locally owned custom home building company of over 25 years that prides itself on great service, high quality, and providing the best building experience possible. Owners Jim Boudry and Jason Zellner are there for you every step of the way to ensure that your new home is built just the way you've dreamed it to be. With the same passion that they have for their clients' homes, Jim and Jason are proud supporters of and are personally involved in youth sports programs and are truly committed to their success. Winfield Homes wishes you all the best of luck this season. Badger Soft Water in Fond du Lac, your first water treatment provider in the Fond du Lac area. Beginning their services in 1945, providing you with your commercial or residential water treatment needs. Good luck, Springs, on your run at a state title. For more, visit badgersoftwater.com or call 920-921-2670. Here is Ben Anderson. Top of the key with Lucas. And the starters out there, minus Baker plus Krusik. That was who's out there for Springs. Here's Sam Lucas. Here, down to the corner, careful now. Krusik with the three, missed it. And the rebound is long down to Younger. 7.15 to go, and the lead is down to nine. I'll tell you what, that was, it felt more mo like more momentum than maybe it does on the scoreboard. Here's a Younger three, missed it. And that was a good timeout from Coach Krieger, I think. Here's Sam Lucas, strong move to the hoop. And Sam Lucas is up to seven first half points, and that's just what we talked about pregame was his ability to step in for the lost production for Caden Pitts, and he's doing that tonight. Here's Younger, looks down to the corner, now out to Fillmore. Fillmore on the left-hand drive, poked away Noah Mowell. Here's Mowell in transition, goes up with it, he's hammered. And a foul called this time. And Noah Mowell will go to the free throw line as they get Erstad with the foul. Just the first on him, and the fourth team foul sends Noah Mowell to the free throw line. He is a tremendous free throw shooter. If you've listened to a Springs game before, this is going to sound like a broken record, but I just it's one of the things that I think makes Noah Mowell as great as he is, his ability to do it all. Well, that and, and the fact that a guy that talented and that athletic plays as hard as he does too. I mean, that's that's the other thing. Misses the second. Here goes Younger down the lane. Spins, good ball movement, ends up in the corner. Here's a triple on the way, rattles around, out, no good. Walter almost had that three, and that went through the hands of Walter for a steal. In the up ahead, Tyler Hoffman, he missed that one. And a cheap foul here in the backcourt as Mowell fighting for the rebound, fouls Fillmore. And that'll be the sixth team foul, and one that the... Uh, Ledger's big man didn't necessarily have to pick up there. And that's number two on Noah Mowell, so he'll have to play cleanly for this last six and change of this first half. See if the Trojans decide to change anything and maybe go at him, but right now it's, this defense right now from Springs is terrific. Another th younger three, missed it again. Came up short on the rebound and another offensive rebound for Cotter. So Cotter, after the second rebound, able to collect the, uh, the bucket and bring it back down to a 10-point game. Timeout taken here from Dodgeland. Let's take 30 and come back with more here on Radio Plus. Go ahead and let the daydreams of spring begin. 
Shop the auto show sale at Holiday and explore all that's new from Buick. Score rates as low as 0.9%, plus hefty bonus cash and deferred payments on Buick Envision. Get more for your trade and enjoy Team Holiday's exceptional guest care. We earn the trust of drivers from all over Wisconsin by following through and going the extra mile. It's what we do. Find yours and discover the difference at Holiday Automotive Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip. There you go. Just heard from our friends over at Holiday Automotive. They got our halftime show coming up here in just a couple of minutes. Make sure you stick around for that. Coach Krieger having a conversation with his guys. Capelli Brothers and Diedrich Construction, designing and constructing your new vision of tomorrow. Capelli and Diedrich in Fond du Lac is the foundation for your renovation and construction. Capelli Brothers and Diedrich Incorporated, 248 North Hickory Street, Fond du Lac. Online at capellidiedrich.com. Timeout quickly taken after that Dodgeland bucket by Coach White. And they're going to keep the full court press on. There's a pass up here to Sam Lucas. And had the diagonal across to John Kuhn if they wanted it. But they ended up going back out with Sam, Sam Lucas. And a foul here on Younger. That'll be number two on Younger as John Kuhn went past him. And he just kind of grabbed him around the waist. So I think Younger's going to have to take a seat. We'll see. Xander Desarn coming into the game. Yeah, he's going to replace Younger, who hasn't gotten it going from the field. He's got five points, all of them from the free throw line. Here's Sam Lucas. Hands off to Baker. Down to the corner with Kuhn. Kuhn lost control of it and snaps a pass back into Hoffman. Lucas has it now left wing. Gets the ball into the middle of the paint and stepped on someone's foot underneath as well. And here's Noah Mowell. Nice entry pass from Hoffman, and Mowell finishes at the rim. He's up to seven points, so seven apiece for Mowell and Lucas. They have 14 of the 27 here for the Springs. Down the lane, Cotter up with a shot that hit the top of the rebound, or top of the, the glass. I'm, why was that not a turnover? Springs coaches, I think, are saying that too. It certainly looked like it hit the top of the glass, and that should have been dead ball turnover. But that'll be the seventh team foul. Whistled on Sam Lucas here, his first. And it'll be bonus free throws here for Owen Cotter. I think they were saying that just hit the corner of it and more on the front instead of the top. Well, for a 57% free throw shooting team, this is a good start for the Dodgeland Trojans. They are seven of their first eight, make it eight of their first nine, and save for the free throw line, this thing would be getting out of hand already in the first half. Here's Baker, finds Mowell. Mowell down to the corner with John Kuhn. Kuhn straight to the hoop, scoops it up, missed it, and the rebound is down with Desarn. Outlet pass cleared for Dodgelin, and Erstad's got it in the front court on the right wing, working on Mowell. Mowell's got to be careful. He's got two fouls. Backdoor cut, finds Stiller underneath, and good ball movement back out to Erstad. Down the lane, foul on the floor. This is a really cheap foul if they're going to get it on Mowell here. This is, they're going to get it on Noah Mowell. That's his third. Wow. Not much contact there based on what we've seen all night. And they're going to sit the best player on the floor down with his third foul. 4.41 to go here in the first half. And no doubt we won't see Noah Mowell for the rest of it. That's a shame. Erstad goes to the free throw line for a one and one bonus and makes the first. So what's the response here from Springs without their leading scorer who's been taken off the floor here? And second free throw up and good. Here's Ben Baker in the backcourt. Pass fake and gives it to Hoffman. Hoffman into the front court. And here's Ben Baker. Far side with Lucas. And yeah, Tyler Hoffman was running the baseline. He still had a foot out of bounds. And it's going to turn back over. Just needed to give Hoffman that extra second there to reestablish himself. And the pass came too quickly from Sam Lucas. Eight point lead for Springs. But the bigger story, if you're just joining us, is Noah Mowell on the floor on the uh, bench with three fouls. Something to watch in the last four minutes. Kind of mark, circle that. Uh, Springs was up 10 when, when he went onto the bench. So we'll kind of keep that in mind as we move towards halftime. Down to the corner with Desarn. 
Tough pass handled there, and a nice job there by Cotter to keep his dribble and not travel. And here's Ben Baker, gets a steal. Ben into the front court for Springs, shovels it off to Hoffman, three ball, no good. Good look there for Springs in transition. And the rebound cleared, here comes Erstad. Snaps a pass over here to Cotter. Cotter down the lane, shovels it in here to the interior and missed. And a rebound cleared down with Sam Lucas. Lucas on the left side, dribbles baseline, kicks it out to Hoffman, top of the key with Vandersanden. And Vandersanden has it poked away, saved here by Walter. Walter down the lane, good hands, Ben Baker has a steal. And that's gotta be a foul, there you go as Landon Stiller reaches in. A lot of contact there. And gonna see White and Fillmore come back onto the floor for Dodgeland. That's the sixth team foul on the Trojans as Ben Baker works in the backcourt on White. Just the first foul, by the way, on Landon Stiller on that reaching foul. Here is Tyler Hoffman. Dribble drive, middle of the paint, and he has it pick, tipped away. Once again, that's Stiller. And Erstad into the front court. Stiller's had a couple of steals here in this first half, and here's another turnover. Erstad had that one poked away from Vandersanden. Euro stepped through for Ben Baker. Can't get it to go on the layup attempt as it was affected by Trewin White. Oh, and here's another turnover. Erstad has it poked away by Vandersanden again. Two deflections in a row for Jack Vandersanden. How about that off the bench? And he was the replacement for Noah Mowell. And Vandersanden's having himself a couple of minutes here defensively. He had the deflection on the last time down and this time gets the steal. And that is number two on Cohen Erstad. Vandersanden not able to get this one to go. Uh, Dodgeland is 10 of 11 from the line. Springs just two of five. And second free throw coming up here for Jack Vandersanden. Looks better, and this one rattles home for Jack Vandersanden. All right, so Springs lead back out to nine with 2.38 to go in the first half. Again, coming up, halftime show, Holiday Automotive halftime show. Stay with us for that. Here's Fillmore, spins once, leaves that one too strong, and on the other side, Vandersanden does a nice job blocking out. And we will have one and one, one and one bonus here. High School Sports Today on RadioPlusInfo.com is presented by these four Fond du Lac area Edward Jones Financial Advisors. Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, Robert Bruce, and Patrick Ellisted. Edward Jones making sense of investing. Vandersanden one and one here, misses the front end. And the rebound cleared with the Dodgeland Trojans. Here comes White into the front court between the legs, crosses over again. Working on the right side. Near side here with Stiller. Stiller, Euro steps through the paint, a lot of contact, no whistle. White once again, kicks it over here to Fillmore. Fillmore, one dribble, and Vandersanden doing a nice job again. Here's the dribble drive, middle of the paint, Euro step through, and an offensive rebound here for Walter, he missed it. Caden Krusik did a nice job that time contesting. Here's a three-pointer tr- three in transition, missed by Ben Anderson. Fillmore trying to tight rope, and he's got it there underneath. Physical game is brewing here, and there's an offensive foul on Caden Fillmore, and he can't believe it, going back the other way. So that will be number nine on Dodgeland. It's a player control foul, so it's not, it's not a shooting foul for the bonus. And Sam Lucas back onto the floor for Ben Anderson. That was the third foul on Fillmore. We have three different players with three fouls in this first half. Here is Ben Baker, one-handed pass. Jack Vanderson in left-hand shot, no good. Rebound crashed by uh, Kuhn, he kicks it out. Here's a three for Lucas, missed it. And another rebound, no, gonna get a foul. I think they're gonna get Ben Baker being a little aggressive underneath, yeah. Ben, oh, never mind, Jack Vanderson for the push. And this will be one and one bonus.
They let a little bit more contact go early, and both teams, you know, the old adage, take an inch, give, give them an inch, take a mile, and that's what has resulted in a really physical end to the first half here. And the first free throw is up and good. So with the increase in, in foul calls, you know, that's something to keep an eye on here for the second half of action. Uh, because there's a lot of players in foul trouble right now for both of these teams. So something to keep in mind. Quinton Kramer Pine into the game for the Trojans as they just wanted some rebounding help, I think. And the rebound cleared out with Freund. Freund spins into the front court, near side with Lucas. Sam Lucas, dribble drive with the left hand, finds Luke Schwartz, who's into the game for his first action. Bounce pass to John Kuhn. Kuhn couldn't handle it. And the steal by Staub and a chance to cut this down under eight. It's been a long time since it's been under seven for Dodgeland here in this first half. Down the lane, here's a nice pass to Staub. Staub up and finishes, and he got a six-point ball game. 28-22 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. And Staub turned around and didn't see Luke Schwartz. There was nothing there. Was nothing there. They, they're going to get a sub in here for Trewin White. I was worried they were going to have a, have a conversation about that. That was just Luke Schwartz standing there and Staub didn't realize it. That's just so good thing they uh, got, didn't make that more than it was. Here's Ben Baker. Baker trapped in the backcourt, bumped, and Sam Lucas past the timeline. He has that poked away, stays with Springs. 33 seconds left, and an underneath inbounds coming here for Ben Baker. Schwartz, top of the key, over to Lucas. Trying to get Kuhn off a double screen. Here is the popping Ben Baker. He missed it. Offensive rebound, John Kuhn. Kuhn threw some contact. 22 seconds left in the first half. Spins. Freund in the corner. And a foul as Braden Freund got hammered, and he'll go to the free throw line. So it will be two shots here for Braden Freund and the double bonus. And as he does, we'll hear from this sponsor. First free throw for Braden Freund. It's been a while since I've seen a whole side of a gymnasium stomp their feet in, in a high school basketball game during a free throw, but here we are. 28-22 <laughs> on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Second one good for Braden Freund. So it's a seven-point lead for Springs. 20 seconds left in this first half. White into the front court. Hands off to Erstad, and he traveled. And they may have to get Erstad back out because he's got three fouls. So we'll see if they, yeah, here comes, I would guess Erstad's going to come back out, I would think. No, White's going to come back out. So they're going to leave Erstad out there with three fouls on this last possession. They have 13 seconds left, those springs, to try to score here and extend this lead. It's currently seven. Here is Sam Lucas. Freund's got it on the far side. Top of the key with John Kuhn. He's got a fadeaway three on the way. Missed it. Offensive rebound, Vandersanden. There's a scramble. There's the horn. 29-22 on the Quest Interior scoreboard, and that was a raucous end to the first half there. My goodness. Engage in the conversations about high school sports in your community throughout Wisconsin. Take your tablet, smartphone, or cell phone and follow the WIAA on X, formerly known as Twitter, at WIAAWI. For general information, at WIAAWI State for state tournament updates, you can also friend the WIAA on Facebook and find them on Instagram. Connect with the WIAA today. Let's take a timeout, come back here with the Holiday Automotive Halftime Show on Radio Plus. Mexican 
What can I do for you, man? You know what? Really craving nacho for us. You guys got any of those? Ads are working. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What ads? Oh, like all the like the, all the pictures I put over here in your in your bedroom. <laughs> oh, I put that there. See you later, man. Real estate is something that we are doing together. We're in it together till the end. Uh, the best achievement that I can have is when the property successfully closes. Probably the most rewarding part of my, my role with Addison Jones and Signature Homes is the ability to take a client from the very beginning stages of building a new home all the way down to the point where we turn the key and move them in and watch their eyes light up as they see the finished product. Buy it, sell it, build it. That's Addison Jones. Gas prices, home expenses, education, will those costs always go up? Probably. At Winnebago Lutheran Academy, we can help you with one of them. We are a part of the Wisconsin Parental Choice Program, a program which enables qualifying families to receive a quality Christian education at no cost. That's right, zero tuition if you qualify. To learn more, visit WLAVikings.org. Living it for four years, loving it forever. The Raidman family has been coring and producing natural stone products for over 50 years. Is your driveway in need of repair? Here at Raidman's, our crust stone division provides our customer with stone needed for maintaining your gravel driveway. Our quarry stone division provides landscape stones such as stepping stones and retaining wall stone for your outdoor living areas. We also offer natural thin and full veneer stone for interior applications such as fireplaces or outdoor applications to combine with or replace your siding or brick. Raidman Stone and Landscape Company where we have the materials to do the best work on earth. Dr. Shane Bauer of Bauer Chiropractic for progressive and traditional chiropractic care. If you're in pain, Bauer Chiropractic offers unique ways to provide relief for many types of pain and conditions. New to this area is MLS Class 4 Cold Laser Therapy, which can be very effective with treating many nagging injuries such as plantar fasciitis, tennis elbow, shoulder pain, knee pain, and many others. Pain relief and prevention are two reasons to see Dr. Shane Bauer at 355 North Peters Avenue, Fond du Lac, or log on BauerChiroFDL.com. Sargento has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life. Okay, let's start with some clouds. Some mountains over there. And finally, a river. Hey, Dad, look. Looks like the perfect spot. American Family Insurance is here to protect your family on the road with the Travel Peace of Mind Package. American Family Insurance. Visit Brad Tagla Petra today in Fond du Lac or Ripon. Back here at Dodgeland High School, I'll tell you what, the Legion's having fun down there. That's what they call it. They call it the Legion. You know, all of, I shouldn't say all of them, but it seems like most of these Trailways East student sections have a name. I like that idea. Maybe the... Uh, the flyway team's got to do a little bit more of that. You got the Legion here. You got the Nut House at Oakfield. I, hey, I'm just saying. I'm not saying, but I'm saying. All right. Welcome to the Holiday Automotive Halftime Show. Jordan King with you. Glad to have you along here on this Tuesday evening for the right to play on Friday against the top seeded Kohler Blue Bombers. This halftime show brought to you by Holiday Automotive. Holiday, it's worth the trip. And let's get you some halftime statistics, starting with Dodgeland. They got two points from both Trewin White and Cohen Erstad. Three points apiece from Caden Fillmore and Braden Staub. Five from their leading scorer, Isaiah Younger. He had just five from the free throw line. Did not get anything else going. Younger on the season is a 31.3% three-point shooter. He missed all four that he took in the first half. Owen Cotter, mostly due to his offensive rebounding there in that first half, had seven. Four springs. Two points for Ben Anderson, three for Ben Baker. He hit the first three of the game, didn't score since, and really didn't get a shot until the last possession. Braden Freund had four, five for John Kuhn, one for Jack Vandersanden, and seven apiece for both Sam Lucas and Noah Mowell, and Mowell did it in short time. He sat the last four minutes and eh, 45 seconds or so with three fouls. The lead for Springs went from 10 down to seven, so uh, without Mowell, they were able to just kind of it didn't extend the lead. They lost a little bit on it, but they did a nice job to kind of weather the storm without their best player, Noah Mowell, uh, on the floor. 
Those are your holiday, holiday automotive halftime highlights. Taco Bell trivia. Order your favorite Taco Bell menu items online. Pick them up at the drive through at all Taco Bell Fond du Lac locations. Taco Bell. Live Moss. Told you this would be a chance for Springs to uh, kind of be flipped roles for Springs and Kohler coming up on Friday if Springs able to knock off the Trojans. So going back to last season, not to bring up bad memories for the, uh, the Springs fans out there listening, but Taco Bell trivia, what were the respective seeds of Kohler and Springs last season when Kohler upset the Ledgers and uh, knocked them out of the WIAA D4 playoffs? Before we take a timeout, just want to let you know the WIAA State Boys and Girls Hockey Tournaments run February 29th through March 2nd at the, at the Bob Suter's Capital Ice Arena in Middleton. Take part in the true magic of March by accessing the WIAA website and clicking on the tickets link at the top of the page. Order your State Boys and Girls Hockey State Tournament tickets now at WIAAWI.org. And I have a feeling that Springs fans probably already knew that because uh, they got their uh, their boys' team playing. Coming up on Thursday, we'll have that here on Radio Plus. From the campus of Dodgeland, the beautiful campus of Dodgeland High School, it's 29-22 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Take another timeout. When we come back, we'll tip things off here for the second half of action between the Trojans and the Spartans. Stay with us. Being a smaller organization, I think, gives us such an advantage to be able to adapt to what our customers need, especially at the small business level. They give us feedback on what's important to them and what products and services they need and are important and, and they value. And we can make adjustments. We can hear our customers as to what they need and we can make adjustments uh, relatively quickly. I think they see that. They see our flexibility and they understand this is an organization that wants to work with us. They're not just going to do it their way. They're actually listening and, and hearing what we need. Will Sport by Wisconsin Lighting Lab. Sports lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Will Sport, a premium sports lighting system. Factory direct application and product support along with its full line of complete LED lighting solutions will transform your athletic facility to the next level. Create an unforgettable fan and player experience. To get started with upgrading your outdoor or indoor sports venue, visit willbrands.com. Are you or a loved one living with the discomfort and hopelessness of peripheral neuropathy? The tingling, the numbness, the life-altering pain? Are you tired of taking medications that only mask the symptoms or don't work at all? You don't have to live like that anymore. Introducing New Medical Center, your beacon of hope in the fight against peripheral neuropathy. Our team of dedicated specialists uses the latest advancement in medical technology to help you regain control of your life. Our personalized treatment plans are designed to reduce your pain, improve your balance, and restore your quality of life all while targeting the cause of your neuropathy. We believe in a holistic approach, combining cutting-edge therapies and lifestyle changes that can slow down, stop, or even reverse the progression of your disease to help you live your life to the fullest. Don't let peripheral neuropathy hold you back. Take the first step towards a pain-free life. Call New Medical Center today at 920-324-9899 or visit us on the web at newmedicalctr.com. That's New Medical Center, 920-324-9899 because you deserve to live without pain. Sargento has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life. Tonight's game is powered by Will Sport, sports lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. To get started upgrading your outdoor or indoor sports venue, visit www.willbrands.com. Forgot to give you the address there, rpvideosports at gmail.com for your free Taco Bell if you can tell me what the seeds were. Springs and Kohler from last season when the upset happened. How about that? There you go. Springs will start it here for the second half of action. Noah Mowell back out onto the floor. 
story from the first half, if you're just joining us for the second half, is Mao playing with three fouls. Had to sit the last eh, four and a half, five minutes or so of that first half. Here's a tough pass, and that one's stolen by Fillmore. Early live ball turnover. Springs did not have many of those in the first half, and a rebound uh, after the miss in transition. That was Walter who wasn't able to get it go, get it to go, excuse me, in transition. And here is Sam Lucas with a couple of big strides, and he's up to nine points. Leading scorer for Springs, tied with Mowell in that first half was Lucas, so he's got it all by himself now. Here's Erstad, backdoor cut from Younger. Instead comes to the near side with Staub, who hands off to Younger. Younger, he gets to the middle of the paint, and he's, he sat some in that first half too because he had two fouls and a little bit more caution exercised by Coach White uh, in terms of keeping him away from getting his third foul, so he didn't play a ton in the last little bit of that first half either. Here is a trap from Ben Baker, and Walter able to throw it over the top of the 5'10 Ben Baker. This is Fillmore, backdoor cut, and miscommunication. Walter threw it away. Younger was cut into the hoop. Walter thought he was going to flare to the corner, and Walter's going to take a seat as Owen Cotter, the leading scorer in the first half for Dodgeland, is onto the floor. And they're going to play in the half court here, and... We'll see if this is a zone look. No, they're gonna. It's gonna be man. Well, we'll see. No, it is. It does look to be a zone here from from Dodgeland and Springs has had their troubles with zones throughout the course of the season. Nice backdoor cut here, caught by Ben Anderson, and Anderson is blocked. Nice play by Erstad to get up and erase that one from Ben Anderson. And a nice job by Ben Baker. How many steals has he got in this ball game? He's had a nice job. He's done a nice job defensively as always. Anderson thought about the three shot fake back over to Baker. In the short corner is Mowell. Instead, Lucas goes back out to Baker. Again, once they get the ball to that short corner to Mowell, Mowell, one power dribble, gets his own rebound, and he's fouled on the second time of asking. So, Noah Mowell to the free throw line for just the second time tonight. It has been a weary road at the free throw line this season for Springs, and tonight's been no different. That foul there was on Staub, his first. And the front end here made by Noah Mowell. He's two for his first three. Springs has made 50% of their free throws tonight. They are five of 10. Meanwhile, I think I got Dodgeland for 12 of 13, or 12 of 14, perhaps. So two for two there for Noah Mowell, and the lead just like that back up to 11 after it was seven at halftime. So the first four here scored by Springs. Younger, that's a loose pass from Younger, and it goes out of bounds. More early turnovers in this half, just like the first half. And Dodgson's got to be careful. They spotted Springs like a 10-point lead or so in that first half. And ever since then, it's been a kind of a nip-tuck game. They've gone back and forth. Here's an Anderson three. This one misses. Rebound tipped up. Lucas, can he retrieve it? No, he can't. It's Fillmore. So we've gone back and forth. Very even game, and the Trojans got to be careful not to turn over the ball too much here and, and have the same thing happen. Here is foul number three on Younger. Dribble drive straight at Ben Baker and plowed him over. So. Oh, that's four on Younger. Okay, so my, I missed one in that first half on Younger. My apologies. So he's going to have to sit. That is a big... I didn't, I only had him down for three fouls. That's, that's my bad. I apologize. He's got four now, and he's going to have to sit for a large chunk of this half unless things get out of, things get out of a whack here and a foul, uh, travel here on the other side for Sam Lucas. Hey, I only claim that my points are accurate. Anything after that is, that's gravy, man. So I'll, <laughs> but my bad. I, I thought he only had four. And he, or excuse me, three, and here's another offensive foul. Baker's drawn back-to-back -back offensive fouls for Springs. This one is Landon Stiller picking it up. And a little frustration here. Brewing on the side of the Dodgeland Trojans. 11-point lead for Springs on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Here is Sam Lucas. Bounce pass to Kuhn. Kuhn cutting to the hole. He lost it on his way up. Good take by John Kuhn, but he had it poked away and couldn't finish. Springs has had a couple of those tonight where they haven't been able to finish at the rim. Here's Fillmore through some contact. 
And a foul here on Ben Anders, or excuse me, Ben Baker. I think he undercut on the rebound, Braden Staub. And it will be underneath inbounds here for the Trojans. 14.48 to go in the game. And Springs leads by 11 in what is a low scoring game. Here is Cotter, middle of the paint, poked away by Baker. Another good deflection from Ben Baker. Baseline drive here from Stiller, deflected by Sam Lucas, and a turnover back to Springs. More sloppy play from the Trojans. And here is Baker, down to the corner, Anderson. Didn't even look that time, and it ends up with Sam Lucas. He triggers once, does it again. This one missed, rebound down with Erstad. Lucas, instead of just shooting that one in rhythm, took a pump fake and then shot it, and he missed it. Little over 14 minutes to play in this one. Erstad has it on the left wing. Here is Cotter. Backdoor cut made by Staub. Cotter's going to keep it. Work on Kuhn. Down the lane. Right side. Floater good. Owen Cotter only averages five points a game. He's got nine already in this one. Here's Lucas back the other way. Finds Mowell down to the corner. Shot here for John Kuhn. Three ball no good. Rebound. Erstad again. And Ben Baker... His size there uh, was certainly a factor in him not getting that rebound. And a foul here on Baker as he pokes away from behind. And so he'll pick up his second foul in quick succession to the first, but just his second overall. Second team foul for Springs as well. And it'll be Trewin White to throw it in. And he, he can barely see, I'm sure, over the frame of Noah Mowell, that's for sure. 13 and a half minutes, tough pass from White. It's handled out near half court by Fillmore, and he's guarded by John Kuhn. Fillmore crosses, gets to the middle of the paint, surveys, looks, far side, gets it to Erstad, and now they're going to get Fillmore reposting against Mowell. Hook shot, no good. Mowell did a nice job that time not to be too aggressive, go straight up and down, and avoid that fourth foul. Here is Mowell, jump stops, kicks it to the corner, Anderson, top of the key with Baker. Clock ticks towards 13 minutes to play, and Springs still has a nine-point lead. It hasn't been closer than six since the first couple minutes of the game. Here's Kuhn, excuse me, Mowell, able to get an offensive rebound. Mowell's hacked the second time, and he'll go back to the free throw line. And as he does, let's hear from one of our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you by Edward Jones and these area Edward Jones financial advisors. Robert Bruce, located at 976 East Johnson Street. Patrick Ellistad, located at 560 Fond du Lac Avenue. Matt Moses, located at 68 North Main Street. And Jeff Wills, located at 649 Fond du Lac Avenue. Good luck to all athletes in today's game. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Mowell missed the first, and he made the second through all of the noise. Here's Fillmore. Ten-point lead for Springs. Fillmore spins against Lucas, Sam Lucas, and a little bit of miscommunication here, and Springs figures it out. Good job of good communication by Freund and Lucas to iron that situation out. Here goes Fillmore, a couple of big steps down the paint, left it up strong. Outlet pass from John Kuhn up to Freund. He gets the ball to Mowell. Mowell jump stops down the paint, and he's blocked by Erstad. Offensive rebound, and another block, this time from Staub. And out in transition is Cotter. Cotter gets to the middle of the paint, mid post, far side. Here's a floater for Erstad. Oh, floater's good for Cohen Erstad. And we're back to an eight-point game, 34-26 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Back in 30 seconds on Radio Plus. Here we go.
Badger Soft Water in Fond du Lac, your first water treatment provider in the Fond du Lac area, beginning their services in 1945, providing you with commercial or residential water treatment needs. Good luck, Springs, on your run at a state title. For more, visit badgersoftwater.com or call 920-921-2670. 920-921-2670. So Dodgeland with a little bit of momentum, but again, Every time Dodgeland is able to get a bucket, it's been so hard to come by that I think it feels like it's a little bit of a run for Dodgeland, and it just isn't. Uh, they're still trailing by eight points right now, um, 34-26, and um, it just it, offense has been difficult to come by for the Trojans against a, a good Springs defense so far here tonight. 12 minutes to play in this one. And here is Noah Mowell on the right block. Gets his own offensive rebound and finishes. Mowell is into double figures. He's got a dozen. He's the first player for Springs into double figures. Actually, the first player for either team tonight to hit double figures. And the lead back out to 10 for Springs. Crossing over is Cotter down the lane. This one through some contact. And foul whistled. We'll see if they get Freund or Kuhn on this one. Uh, 24, that's Braden Freund. And it's a shooting foul to send Cotter to the free throw line where he's two for two. He is just a 43% free throw shooter. But you got to throw out those those statistics here tonight. I mean, my goodness, the Trojans are are electric from the free throw line. Can you be electric from the, from the line? Probably not. But they have been excellent. Second free throw for Cotter is up and good as well. They've missed just two free throws tonight. I'll get you their, their full shooting statistics here in just a second from the line, but they've done a nice job. Back down to an eight-point contest. John Kuhn has it between the circles, far side with Lucas to the corner with Baker. Entry pass underneath to Mowell. Mowell backing down, and Mowell finishing. Strong play from Noah Mowell. And Coach White can't believe it, but that was just a big boy play from a big boy player. Here on the near side, Fillmore working on Baker. Crosses over, spins, now gets it underneath. Nice pass out here. Cotter three on the way. This one comes up short. Good looking shot there from Cotter. And a chance here for the Trojans on the offensive glass. Here is Fillmore. Nice jab step. Down the lane he goes up with the floater. Missed it. And Mowell tips the rebound to himself. Ten point lead for Springs. In the corner, Baker, nope, they're gonna go the other side to John Kuhn. Here's Braden Freund. Underneath, Mowell, back out to Freund. He's hit his only other three he's taken. He's hit both of them tonight. Braden Freund up to seven points. Man who averages only three and a half has doubled that here tonight. Here's Cotter, one-handed pass over near side with White. White's been done a nice job handling the ball off the bench. And he gets the ball to the wing and down to the corner with Pine and back out to White. Hounded by Ben Baker and snaps a pass over here to Cotter. Cotter down the lane, shovels it underneath. Pine missed it, Freund affected it. And here comes Noah Mowell. And Springs able to build on what is their biggest lead of the night now. 13 points, 41-28 underneath. Noah Mowell going to work, kicks it back out. Here's the second best free three point shooter. Baker's got it this time. Back-to-back -back threes for Springs, and the lead is out to 15. It was an eight-point lead. It is now a 9-2 run after the Dodgeland timeout. Cotter has that one poked away. He's trapped underneath, kicks it out to Erstad. Back to Cotter, wide open in the corner. Need this one to fall. It's a little bit short. Offensive rebound, Fillmore kicks it out. White for three. This one looks good. Rattles around, no good. Kuhn down with the rebound. Pushes it up ahead, finds Lucas. No, can't find Lucas. And Coach Krieger with his hands stretched out wide saying, what was that pass for? <laughs> Improving energy, efficiency, safety, and first impressions. Capelli and Dietrich, where plans today amaze tomorrow. The name synonymous with quality planning and construction, Capelli Bro Brothers and Dietrich, 248 North Hickory Street, Fond du Lac, online at capellidietrich.com. 44-28, 16-point lead on the Quest Interiors scoreboard for Springs. Here's a three for Fillmore. Got it. Fillmore with a triple. Just the second three of the night for the Trojans. 
compared to five threes hit by Springs. Saved there on the far side by Noah Mowell, back down to a 13-point game. That that was a big, I think we're going to call it 10-2 run after everything was all said and done for Springs. Out of that timeout. Here is Mowell underneath, gets the ball from Lucas, goes up with the shot. The soft touch from Noah Mowell, who's up to nine second half points, and he's got 15, check that 16 overall tonight. And the lead back out to 15. Here's White over to Wolter, who hands off to Fillmore. Fillmore, right side, dribbled is off his foot, and it's Springs basketball. 8.14 to go here tonight. Tonight's game powered in part by Willsport. Sports lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Get started upgrading your outdoor or indoor sports venue. Visit www.willbrands.com. 15-point lead for Springs, and here's John Kuhn in the front court. On the far side, snaps a pass to Mowell. They've run everything through Mowell. Kuhn's underneath here, has Jack Vandersanden. Nice pass, Vandersanden can't finish. Missed it just a touch short. What a cut by Vandersanden. Just left it short on the, on the bunny. Here goes Erstad. Nice pass over to the far side. And Pine finishes. Kramer Pine has his first points of the night as Springs easily breaks the press again. And Hoffman has it stolen. It's Walter. Walter through the contact. Count it. And the foul for Easton Walter. And this crowd has come alive. It's a 4-0 spurt here for the Trojans to make this an 11-point game. And Walter will be able to cut it back down to 10 from the line. That was a big couple of possessions here for Dodgeland, especially defensively. And Walter finishes it off at the charity stripe. I won't even mention what the uh, Dodgeland guys shoot from the line anymore because it doesn't apply tonight. They have done a nice job, excellent job. And that one's tipped away as Younger has to be careful, but he is playing aggressively with four fouls and almost had a steal there. Live ball, that would have been another bucket. So Anderson will trigger it in. Baker, by the way, back onto the floor. He replaces Hoffman. 7.15 to go in the game. Down to the corner of Andersanden. He's had a nice job, done a nice job off the bench. He had extended minutes tonight because of the foul trouble for Noah Mowell, and he did a great job. Mowell has that one blocked underneath, at least partially, and Fillmore looks up ahead to Younger. Younger, a couple of big steps. Go oh, count the basket, and the foul for Younger. We got a little continuation there, and Younger finishes at the rim. Anderson with the foul. Thought they were going to say that was on the floor. I certainly thought it might have been. And a chance to extend or cut this deficit. Wow, my goodness. Full timeout for Springs. Let's take 30 seconds of them and come back right after this. Sargento has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life. Badger Soft Water in Fond du Lac, your first water treatment provider in the Fondy area, beginning their services in 1945, providing you with your commercial or residential water treatment needs. Good luck Springs on your run at a state title. For more, visit badgersoftwater.com or call 920-921-2670. So after a 12-2 Springs run, you are looking live at a 7-0 Dodgeland Trojan run. 7-0 and a chance to make it an 8-0 run at the line. And it's their leading scorer, Younger, at the free throw line, Isaiah Younger, who is five for six from the charity stripe, misses this one, and skying for the rebound is the 5'10", Ben Baker. Because who else 
By the way, Ben Anderson picked up his third foul, although with under seven minutes left, I don't really quantify that to be foul trouble just anymore. So 6.45, and Spring's going to probably be a little bit more deliberate on this possession. Here goes John Kuhn. Gets the ball to Mowell. Far side with Baker. Worth noting that Mowell's done a nice job. He has played without fouling in this second half. Tough pass. Mowell's got it underneath. At the mid post, kicks it back out to Lucas. Lucas, good job to keep the pivot foot to avoid the travel. Here's Anderson. Drives baseline. Goes up with it. It's blocked. Out of bounds. Stays with Springs. And the Dodgeland faithful, I think, thought that went out last on Anderson, but either had to call that a block or a foul, so they called it a block. Here is a Noah Mowell catch, finding Lucas. Here's the play, finding Baker, wide open, left it short on the three. It's a great inbounds pass, and they're going to get a foul on Ben Anderson. That's number four on him as he, he tied it up underneath, but the referee saw some contact first. So that's the sixth team foul on the Ledgers, and here comes Caden Krusik. And he's going to replace Anderson. Four is foul trouble, make no mistake. <laughs> Far side, this is Stiller. Stiller down the left side of the paint, and going to get a foul. They're going to say Ben Baker pushed from behind. So we're going to have a lot of free throws here in this last six minutes. And if the way they've shot thus far is any indication, a chance here to cut into the Springs lead for the Trojans. Here is Stiller's first free throw good. He shoots it at 37 per, I said I was gonna stop doing that, that's right. It is incredible though, and, and again, this is just, I say it all the time, you gotta throw, you know, numbers get you so far. You, you are who you are, right? And one for two here for Stiller, and that's probably a little bit more based on normally what he is. And a foul here as they get Ben Baker on the arm. And <laughs> we got the uh, sarcastic cheers from the Springs fans and the boos raining down from the Trojan fans, which means you're doing a good job refing if both teams are, are mad at you. Means you did a good job, and these guys have done tonight. And this is a typical game to very physical game tonight, and they've done a terrific job. Here is Ben Baker, far side. Krusik, near side with Kuhn. He's got the entry pass to Mowell if he wants it. He's going to dribble drive baseline, middle of the paint, <laughs> middle of the paint, excuse me, and finish with the right hand. And Kuhn's up to seven points. Big take there from John Kuhn. His first, second half points coming here with five and a half minutes to play. Here's Stiller. Cross is over. Trying to get the ball to Younger. Younger has it now. Driving on Kuhn. Blocked by Krusik. Krusik took it away. Here's Baker. Back to Krusik. And Krusik is blocked. Foul called by Stiller. And this will send Caden Krusik to the free throw line. They're going to say a push. And that is number four on Stiller. And the sixth team foul as well. First free throw from Krusik up and no good. And Coach White going to use this opportunity to get Owen Cotter into the game, who is the only Dodgeland player in double figures tonight. He's got 11. Krusik, second free throw. Missed it. Offensive rebound, Caden Krusik gets there first and kicks it out. Uh, here's John Kuhn. Kuhn near side, dribble drive, kicks it to the corner. This is where Sam Lucas hit his only three of the night, missed it. And a rebound cleared this time with Walter. Outlet pass up ahead to Cotter. Cotter crosses over, and then he's going to slow things down with 4.52 to play. They're trying to erase what is a nine-point deficit. Here's a corner three. Younger missed it short. Been just a little short on all of them tonight. And a foul underneath. That's going to do it here for Landon Stiller, I do believe. And as they figure out the substitution for the fifth foul, we'll hear from this sponsor. Monthly payments, due dates, late fees, debt can feel overwhelming. And it can be hard to keep up. 
but it's a new year, which means a fresh start. If you're ready to hit reset, a debt consolidation loan may be right for you. Instead of having to keep track of separate balances, due dates, and lenders, you can make a single payment each month to hit all of your debt. At Fond du Lac Credit Union, we believe settling your debts doesn't have to be complicated. Get a fresh start by visiting FDLCU.com or stop in today. Baker gets the first free throw to go. High School Sports tonight on RadioPlusInfo.com, presented by these four Fond du Lac Area Edward Jones Financial Advisors, Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, Robert Bruce, and Patrick Ellistead, Edward Jones. Making sense of investing. Second free throw for Baker, up and good. Those are two big free throws from the sophomore Ben Baker, who does not shoot it particularly well from the line. But that's a good omen tonight. If you're not a good free throw shooter, this is your night from the line. I'm telling you. 11 point lead for Springs, and a little bit more comfortable for Coach Krieger's crew. Here's Younger working on Krusik, who's had a terrific night defensively. He has got some deflections here tonight. And I think Coach Krieger's going to like what he sees when he turns on the film and stats those, uh, those deflections. Here is Fillmore looking to the far side. Now gets it underneath to Younger. Younger is fouled by Mowell. And this thing will be the fourth on Mowell. And then we're going to send Younger to the free throw line too. And, yeah, Coach Krieger is saying, oh, I think you maybe want to get Mowell out of there. Okay, he's going to get Krieger out of there. Or, excuse me, Kru Krusik. Coach Krieger going to get Krusik out of there. First free throw of the bonus. Good for Younger. Of his first eight, Younger's hit six. He's got eight points here tonight, and a guy who averages 21. The Ledgers have done a nice job against him tonight. Second free throw up, rattles home for Younger. 4.13 to go, nine point Springs lead. Mowell's out there with four fouls for Springs. Younger's out there with, no, he's just taken off. So I think they're going to try the offense-defense thing, Coach White is. And there is a foul on the block as Sam Lucas was bumped and fouled. And, oh, now we got a technical foul here on Cotter as well. Cotter's reaction was not appreciated, apparently. So there's two fouls on Cotter, and that may that may foul him out. Let's we'll double check that. I'm not too confident on any of my foul counts anymore, but that may foul Cotter out, and that would be a big deal. As the as we shoot the the technical and the other free throws, let's take a quick break. You'll see it here on the playthrough. <laughs> Ty Roofing would like to thank all the athletes for their efforts in each competition. Ty Roofing has been in business for 61 years doing residential and commercial roofing. Give us a call at 922-7246. Good luck, high school athletes. So Sam Lucas, Sam Lucas shot the bonus free throw. He missed it. It was still one in one bonus. Take Lucas off, put Noah Mowell on to shoot the, uh, the technical free throws. Get it back out to an 11 point lead with making both of them. By the way, Cotter only has three fouls but I wasn't taking any chances there with my counting in this game here tonight. Uh, and Springs has the basketball after the tee. Here is Lucas, shot fake on the three, dribble drive, middle of the paint, goes up strong, Sam Lucas. He's into double figures, he's got 11. That was a big boy move from Sam Lucas, and the Springs lead back out to 13. 54-41 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. This is White, guarded by Baker. Vander Sanden, by the way, came in for Noah Mowell, who's got four fouls, trying to play the offense-defense thing, I'm sure, or maybe just trying to get a couple of minutes without Mowell on the floor. Here goes Younger. Younger down the left side to count the basket and the foul. See who they get the ball or get the foul on here, excuse me, as Younger into double figures. It's on Krusik. Younger has 11. And back to the line for a second and one opportunity. 
And here comes Noah Mowell, as I suspected. Got the offense-defense rolling here for Coach Krieger. He's got plenty of timeouts, too, so if they score offensively, can certainly use them to get Mowell out of the game if you wish. Another made free throw here for Younger. And it's a 10-point contest. Those were three desperately needed points for the Trojans. Tough pass. Anderson takes it in, gets it to John Kuhn, skips a pass over to Sam Lucas, and good patience here from Springs. They're up by 10. They can do this. And it's probably what they want to do here with just a couple of minutes left. Here goes John Kuhn. Layups are okay. Everything else, no. John Kuhn. Oh, stop it. What a pretty move here from John Kuhn. He's up to nine. And a couple of players on the bench put their hands on their head. Yes, sir, you betcha. That was an awesome move from John Kuhn. Here's a Fillmore three. This one misses strong. Rebound to Mowell. Looks up ahead. He's got Sam Lucas. Lucas, he finishes it at the rim. And Lucas has 13 points. And they're going to switch up the defense here into a 2-3 zone on that one. Down to the corner. Here's a three ball. And this one misses, this time from Erstad. It's a 16-point lead for Springs. Deflected out of bounds and stays with the Ledgers. Two twenty-eight to go here tonight. Baker's got it in the backcourt. Springs leads by 14. Ooh, that's a tough pass from Baker. It's taken in by Noah Mowell and a timeout from Coach Krieger. 30 seconds, let's take it with them. Back after this on Radio Plus. Well, the youth sports, right? We support youth sports in all of our communities, sponsoring teams, booster clubs, and then really supporting the schools uh, with some PTO activities where we'll donate to the PTOs as they need. We help sponsor uh, a new playground for one of the schools in, in Fond du Lac. There's different things that we've done. And, and I, look, I, I look forward to our ability as we grow to be able to increase uh, that exposure and that opportunity for us to give back to the communities. Back here at Dodgeland High School. Engage in the conversations about high school sports in your community and throughout Wisconsin. Take your tablet, smartphone, cell phone, and follow the WIAA on X, formerly known as Twitter, at WIAAWI for general information, and WIAA State for the state tournament updates. You can also friend the WIAA on Facebook and find them on Instagram. Connect with the WIAA today. Baker's got the ball in the backcourt with 2.20 to go tonight. 58-44 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. And Mowell's got it underneath. He's had a tremendous second half. This one's batted away. And Anderson's got it. No. Scramble for the ball in the backcourt. Jump ball. 2.06 to go and a jump ball. It will give it to Dodgeland. So next arrow, should there be one, will go to the St. Mary Springs Ledgers. Starters out there for Springs. This is Younger for the Trojans. Top of the key to Fillmore, back to Younger. Left wing three on the way, strong, no good. Rebound ripped down by Noah Mowell, and he gives it to Anderson. Ben Anderson is going to take a timeout in the backcourt. And... Yeah, the timeout was taken in plenty of time. Uh, Coach White wanted a jump ball, but there was nowhere near that. So let's take 30 seconds of that timeout and come back. Last minute and 50 when we return on Radio Plus. Here at International Paper, I've gotten much more experience than I have elsewhere. I've seen more in the field than I have anywhere else. I started from the bottom and I've worked my way up. The papers will make it great. Nobody wants to see anybody fail. You want a job to where you can display your skills, they can be valued, you can move forward based off your own ability and your ability to learn more. That's IP. Star General has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life. Back here at Dodgeland High School. WIAA State Boys and Girls Hockey Tournaments run February 29th through March 2nd at the Bob Suter's Capital Ice Arena in Middleton. Take part in the true magic of March 
by accessing the WIAA website and clicking the tickets link at the top of the page. Order your state boys and girls hockey state tournament tickets now at WIAAWI.org. And I'm sure most of you Springs fans already got yours, right? Try to see the Ledgers. They're in the semifinals. Taking on, let's see here, River Falls. We'll have that on AM 1170 and 93.7 FM. There's a foul in the backcourt. On Fillmore, as he reached in and fouled Noah Mao. And Mao will go to the free throw line and take his 75% uh, average with him. He is six for eight here tonight. First free throw up, no good. And you got it, six for eight. Those of you scoring at home, that's 75%. So that's why we do mention statistics, because sometimes they come true. Second free throw for Mowell up and good. Didn't even bother hitting the rim on that one. 15 point lead for the Ledgers and a buck 40 to go in this game. Trojans in dire straits, gotta hit some shots here. Younger's got it top of the key, fires it back over. Here's a three from Erstad, missed it. Rebound taken down by John Kuhn, Kuhn underneath. Dribbles out of some pressure. Finds Sam Lucas up ahead, Lucas. Smart play to slow down and give it to Mowell out at half court. That's a tough pass though for Kuhn. It was last touched by the Trojans and it's Springs ball. So they, did, they made a good decision to slow things down and then a couple of tough passes there from Springs almost turned it back over. Did the hard part, which was the decision making. Now do the easy part and make the pass, right? <laughs> Here's John Kuhn and Kuhn is fouled from behind from Erstad with a minute 18 to go. And as he does, two shots, we'll hear from this sponsor. Since the beginning, your curious mind and imagination have guided you, where tools and technology helped you discover the world. At Moraine Park Technical College, you will train on industry-leading machines blended with hands-on learning. World-class instructors will help you shape and design your future in manufacturing. Homegrown, life-ready. Moraine Park Technical College. Back the other way, here come the Trojans after an 0 for 2 trip for John Kuhn. He's still stuck at nine points. Here's a three for Younger, and a timeout taken here from Dodgeland. Younger hits a triple, and back down to a 12-point contest. It's a full timeout. Let's take it with him. Back with more on Radio Plus. The team on top of the game for screen printing awards, signage, and embroidery is Hoppers. Hopper Silk Screen and All-Star Trophy, located in the heart of Fond du Lac, can custom print to one shirt or a thousand. Pick from Under Armour, Gildan, Nike, Sportech, Sims, and Heli Henson. Choose your school for a custom, one-of-a-kind look. Hoppers is also your local source for Mercury Marine merchandise like hats, sweats, and jackets. Hopper Silk Screen and All-Star Trophy at the corner of Main and Merrill Fond du Lac. Get more now at Hopperware.com. That's Hopperware.com. Planning to build? Whether it's a new home, remodel, or commercial project, you need a committed team that's dedicated to bringing your visions to reality. You need Pino. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to www.rapinno.com and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, build better for future generations. Back at Dodgeland High School. Once again, I mentioned it in the first half, but I uh, just want to shout out and thank you to uh, Marsha, the athletic director here, for taking care of us here at Dodgeland. It's, uh, it's been a great experience here and beautiful facilities that they have here, and Trojan fans should be extremely proud of those for sure. And see if they can make a little run here. Down 12 with a minute left. Ben Anderson catches the ball here, and Anderson's going to be fouled near half court. And Anderson's the guy that I think Springs wants at the free throw line. If it's not going to be Noah Mowell, I think it's they want it to be Ben Anderson. And uh, he's one of the better free throw shooters on the team, 68%. And earlier in the season, when both Mowell and Anderson were both on the court, during a technical free throw, it was, it was actually Anderson that shot the free throws. That was in that uh, Laconia game, I believe. It's 
So first one good for Anderson, second one forthcoming. Ton of free throw shot here tonight between these two teams. In a physical game, both both halves, uh, both teams got to 10 personal, both teams were in double bonus, both halves. Don't see that very often anymore. But they earned them tonight. Here's another three from Younger, comes up short. And over overall tonight, that's been the issue for Younger. Just been a little short on some of these shots for the, uh, the freshman. He's got 15 points right now. Fourteen point lead for Springs and Younger makes the first. He's been great from the free throw line. He is nine of eleven. Second free throw up and good. So it's a 12-point lead for Springs. 61-49 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Anderson gets fouled. And he'll head back to the free throw line. Before going to the line, Anderson had two points tonight. And a miss here for Anderson on the front end. Coming up after the game, Fox Valley Savings Bank post game show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be down on the floor talking with uh, Coach Krieger and a couple of players. So don't touch that dial. Here's a Ben Anderson free throw. Good. Three for four tonight from the line for Ben Anderson. And he's up to five points. Far side, top of the key now with Fillmore. Gets it to Erstad. Erstad thought about a three. Back to Fillmore. Got to get a shot up here soon. Here's a Fillmore three. Missed it. A little bit short. Offensive rebound to Younger. Kicks it out. Here's a white three. This one looks good, but it missed off to the left. Another offensive rebound for Fillmore, and he scores. And a timeout here for Coach White. And just a 30-second timeout. And uh, we'll keep it right here. Uh, I think they just wanted to get some subs in here, perhaps. But uh, they're going to take the time out. Coming up on Thursday, I mentioned it. We told you how to get your state hockey tournament tickets. On Thursday, River Falls versus St. Mary's Springs in the state semifinal. AM 1170, 93.7 FM. That's where that one will be. So uh, just radio only for that. So that was the last I heard. So make sure uh, make sure you you get yourself a, ri a radio. All right, you find I don't know, look on Craigslist or something. Find yourself a radio. Uh, you can pull that up and listen live online as well. So there's plenty of ways to get your state state hockey. Or go to wiaawi.org as I mentioned, and, and go watch them in person. Get down there and see Springs on the ice. 62-51. Mao was fouled. He'll go to the free throw line and a chance to build on a 19 point night for Noah Mao. This guy's the real deal, there's no doubt about it. Mao is now 9 of 12. Check that, 9 of 10 of 13. Something like that. We'll double check that when we get to the post game but he has had a nice night from the free throw line and he's up to 21 points. That's the important thing. And the more important thing is Springs, 64-51. Here's a three ball from Tommy Trudeau. And a foul on Mowell again. And the junior will go back to the free throw line for Springs. Nine seconds left. With the loss, Dodgeland will fall, finish their season 14-11. and 11. And Springs is going to be 13 and 12 and building towards a date with the number one seed, the Kohler Blue Bombers.
Here's Mao. Free throw up and good. Mao did an excellent job to not play too much uh, in terms of, you know, his. They're, they're booing the taking off of a senior who doesn't play very often. They're trying to get him a, 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 a standing ovation, but the, uh, the students wanted to see him fire up one more three. But uh, anyways, but a nice job for Mowell here in the second half to not, you know, to, to play maybe. And again, he, was, it wasn't that he wasn't aggressive. He was just smart about how he, he played in the second half, knowing he was in foul trouble. And uh, fast forward post game, and he's going to have 23 tonight and lead Springs to the next round. Here goes White. Oh, he's erased. And an exclamation point tattooed on this one from Noah Mowell for the Ledgers. He didn't care if he fouled out at that point. And he gets another deflection, does Mowell. And Mowell <laughs> turned around and kind of mouthed, I'm sorry. You can't coach. You can't coach that out of him, man. You gotta. You just let him play, right? Well, let's see what they draw up here for Tommy Trudeau. They put him back onto the floor. The seniors out there. See if they screen for him. Get him free here on the wing. Three ball on the way. Oh, and it just rims out for Trudeau. And that's gonna do it here tonight. 66-51 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Springs gets it done with a 15-point first-round win. And they take down the Dodgeland Trojans here on their home floor. Let's take a timeout. We come back. We'll have our Fox Valley Savings Bank postgame show. Don't go anywhere. We'll uh, talk with Coach Krieger and hopefully a couple players down on the floor. Stay with us. When you hire the attorneys with the Everson Law Office, you're getting more than professional presentation. The attorneys at Everson Law Office are committed to excellence and have been successfully representing their clients since 2005. Practicing business law, estate planning, probate, guardianships, and real estate, they work closely with their clients providing exceptional legal services that are catered specifically to their needs. Call attorney William Everson at 920-922-7113 or go to everson-law.com. The Raidman family has been quarrying and producing natural stone products for over 50 years. Is your driveway in need of repair? Here at Raidman's, our crust stone division provides our customer with stone needed for maintaining your gravel driveway. Our quarry stone division provides landscape stones such as stepping stones and retaining wall stone for your outdoor living areas. We also offer natural thin and full veneer stone for interior applications such as fireplaces or outdoor applications to combine with or replace your siding or brick. Raidman Stone and Landscape Company where we have the materials to do the best work on earth. This is Craig Larson, sales manager with locally owned Dufresne Moving and Storage. Moving is very important to me and I take pride in making sure our clients are happy with their overall experience at a reasonable cost and done in a high quality manner. We have a crew that is dedicated on taking care of your stuff. Call me today for an estimate at 1-800-425-MOVE or visit us at DufresneMoving.com. Dufresne Moving and Storage of Fond du Lac. Making your move and storage of goods simple. Back here at Dodgeville. Dodgeland, Dodgeland, not Dodgeville. I only did that once. That's my only time tonight. That's pretty good. I was pretty scared about that coming into this game. 66-51 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. The final score tonight, it was not 66-0 if you're just joining us and you See the scoreboard, they're clearing that out. Uh, up, they're, they're clearing out all the numbers on the scoreboard here in-house. 66-51, a 15-point win for the Ledgers, led by 23 from Noah Mowell. The Ledgers got it done, and they will move on on Friday to take on the Kohler Blue Bombers, the top-seeded team in this regional. The top half of sectional number four in Division 4, and the Kohler's for real. And look, you can do all the preview a little bit later on. We're talking about this game here. This is the Fox Valley Savings Bank lo uh, post-game show. Looking for a loan with no hassle? They can help. Local bank, local lenders, your community, your local community bank, Fox Valley Savings Bank. Marion University, as always, presents our turning point of the game. Log on to marionuniversity.edu to get started today. And our turning point to the game, Springs went on a 12-2 run. Uh, and now it was responded. I'll, I'll, I'll hand it to Dodgeland. They responded with a little run of their own. 
But that got the game out to uh, 16 points at its biggest. That was the biggest Springs lead. And from, that, from then on, it was just too big of a, a mountain for Dodgeland to try to climb. They did their best. As I mentioned, they, they kept coming and kept coming. But uh, it was too big of a, a hole that they put themselves in. And you've got to give Springs credit uh, during that run. It was back-to-back threes from Braden Freund and then Ben Baker as part of that 12-2 run that just busted this thing open. Right when it was kind of a coin flip type of a game, Dodgeland makes a couple more plays. They're right back in this thing, maybe tying it up, certainly getting it back within a couple of buckets. And then you blink, and Springs is up by 16, and that was pretty much signifying game over. So, again, credit to Dodgeland continuing to play, but uh, that would be the turning point to the game uh, as presented by Marion University.edu. BCI Burke presents our player of the game. Log on to BurkeCareers.com. That's B-U-R-K-E Careers.com. And it's got to be none other than Noah Mowell. i got to start counting next year how many times Mowell's our player of the game because he was uh, so many times this year. And he's coming back next year for his senior year and just a terrific uh, season um, for Noah Mowell. And as the guys come out of the locker room down there, we're going to take a timeout. We're going to head down to the floor and – Maybe we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see if Noah Mao will talk to us for the 40th time this year here on Radio Plus. Stay with us. Here at International Paper, I've gotten much more experience than I have elsewhere. I've seen more in the field than I have anywhere else. I've started from the bottom and I've worked my way up. The papers will make it great. Nobody wants to see anybody fail. You want a job to where you can display your skills. They can be valued. You can move forward based off your own ability and your ability to learn more. That's IP. When you hire the attorneys with the Everson Law Office, you're getting more than professional presentation. The attorneys at Everson Law Office are committed to excellence and have been successfully representing their clients since 2005. Practicing business law, estate planning, probate, guardianships, and real estate, they work closely with their clients providing exceptional legal services that are catered specifically to their needs. Call attorney William Everson at 920-922-7113 or go to everson-law.com. A personal experience with a custom feel. Each home Smith Builders builds is unique. Their design and selections perfectly crafted for you. To learn more, visit smithbuildersinc.com or stop by 227 Morris Court. Smith Builders of Fond du Lac. Traditional values, exceptional services. A proud sponsor of local high school sports. And let the daydreams of spring begin. Shop the auto show sale at Holiday and explore all that's new from Buick. Score rates as low as 0.9%, plus hefty bonus cash and deferred payments on Buick and Vision. Get more for your trade and enjoy Team Holiday's exceptional guest care. We earn the trust of drivers from all over Wisconsin by following through and going the extra mile. It's what we do. Find yours and discover the difference at Holiday Automotive Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip. Hey, I'm Jeff Cornelli. I'm the owner of Tavern on the Avenue, Bob's on the Avenue, Just Love Coffee on the Avenue. Just Love Coffee is a franchise out of Nashville, Tennessee. We uh, actually interviewed 30 different people, and these people are above and beyond better than anybody else. 90% of the money that is made in the coffee shop is donated charities. There's nothing in Fond du Lac like this business. It's very upscale, it's family oriented. We got kids games, the kids can play their games, the families can come here at birthday parties and uh, have coffee at the same time. Integrity Saw and Tool is a proud sponsor of Fond du Lac area sports. They wish the best of luck to all local teams this fall and winter. Integrity prides itself on being the fastest producer of high-quality cutting tools and providing the most reliable sharpening service in the industry. If you're looking for a challenging career with excellent benefits and a family atmosphere, contact the team at IntegritySaw.com. That's IntegritySaw.com. Back here on the Fox Valley Savings Bank postgame show here with our BCI Burke player of the game, Noah Mowell. Noah, uh... That was a physical game tonight. Um, foul trouble in the first half. What's the thought going into halftime? I mean, I just know how to keep my fouls down, but also help my team out with rebounds and get into the paint more. So basically, I had to do that, and we can just get through it. How difficult is it to kind of toe that line, right, of staying aggressive while also knowing you can't pick up number four? 
Yeah, I know. You just can't help their defense either. They get to the hoop. You can't step in the way. It's a foul right there otherwise. It's got, I imagine that's difficult, right, with the way that, that five drives to the hole and, and you guys are or those guys were so aggressive. Um, defensively, though, what can you say about your teammates and specifically Jack Vandersanden who came in extra minutes tonight with you on the bench with foul trouble. What can you say about his performance? Yeah, Jack did good. When I got into foul trouble, he got in and he could get through it. He did a job done, and he did a lot better than I thought. He got in the free throw line. He got some free throws in. Uh, you're a machine from the free throw line. Uh, get, what, what's the secret? I mean, when it just gets to the end of the game, you're a little more tired, so put more, more, put more air under it. So that kind of helps it travel more, so that's about it. There you go, boys and girls. That's how you shoot free throws. Noah, congrats. Big win for you guys. Um, we're waiting for Sam Lucas. Sam's going to come out of the locker room and have a conversation with us, too. Sam had 13 points. Talk about his journey throughout the, uh, the senior season for him as well. Um, as we wait for him, we will uh, talk about Leb Insurance Group. They present our final statistics. Leb Insurance Group is your MetaLeap partner. Your MetaLeap membership is a safety net that helps protect your home, family, and lifestyle. Learn more with the Leb Insurance Group today. And uh, some final statistics here tonight for Springs. We told you about the 23 for Noah Mowell, 13 for Sam Lucas, 8 for Ben Baker, 9 for John Kuhn, Ben Anderson had 5, 7 for Braden Freund. Those were big points off the bench for Coach Krieger from Braden Freund. And, and by the way, we're also waiting for see if we can, can catch Coach Krieger before we get out of here too. So those are your final statistics presented by the Leb Insurance Group. Tell you what, let's take a time out. And we'll, uh, we'll try to catch up with Sam Lucas and Coach Krieger when we come back. We'll finish up the Fox Valley Saving Bank postgame show then. Stay with us on Radio Plus. Real estate is something that we are doing together. We're in it together till the end. Uh, the best achievement that I can have is when the property successfully closes. Probably the most rewarding part of my, my role with Addison Jones and Signature Homes is the ability to take a client from the very beginning stages of building a new home all the way down to the point where we turn the key and move them in and watch their eyes light up as they see the finished product. Buy it, sell it, build it. That's Addison Jones. It's a slow time for air conditioners, but it's a busy time for furnaces. Hi, this is Sarah and Danny from Air Tech Heating. We want to share a few tips from our technicians to keep your furnace running smoothly this season. Be sure to change your furnace filter to maintain proper airflow. Not sure how frequently or what filter is best? We can help. Take good care of your furnace. Contact us for annual preventative maintenance. And make sure your outdoor vent pipes are clear of snow, leaves, or debris. As always, if you've got questions, our team is here to help. For whatever it takes, 24-7 service, call our team at Air Tech Heating. Heating at Whether it's commercial, ag, or residential, you need a building that will last. You need Pino. Our experienced design build team will make your vision a reality. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to PinoBuildings.com and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, built better for future generations. Welcome back here to Dodgeland High School. And again, we've talked about it all night. It's a great campus down here. This is a beautiful facility. It really is. Uh, and once again, thanks to Marsha and her crew, the athletic director here at Dodgeland, for setting us up like she did, took good care of us here tonight. Final score this evening, 66-51 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Springs wins it. Uh, I haven't seen Coach Krieger or uh, Sam Lucas, so we'll just, uh, we'll just cut it here. We'll catch up with them later on during the postseason run here, I'm sure. AirTech presents our next game broadcast here on the Fox Valley Savings Bank Post Game Show. No matter which type of heating system you have in your home, the knowledgeable technicians at AirTech Heating can perform a timely repair if things go wrong. Go to RadioPlusInfo.com for the complete schedule. But I'll tell you what's coming up on Thursday. It is a packed schedule. We already told you about state hockey going on, which you can catch on 1170 or 93.7 FM for the state hockey. 
Also got sectional semifinal girls basketball. Wapon versus Lake Mills. Laconia versus St. Mary Catholic. WLA versus Poinette. All of those coming up on Thursday as well. We'll, we'll stream all of those uh, games. Wapon, Laconia, and WLA all playing to go to sectional finals and play for a chance to go to state themselves. More to come Friday and Saturday. Busiest week of the year, bar none. Got boys regionals, got girls sectionals, got state hockey. Awesome time of the year. If you don't like this time of the year, you don't like sports. There you go. I said it so that you didn't have to. We're going to wrap up the Fox Valley Savings Bank postgame show. Thanks to all the great folks here at Dodgeland High School. Thanks to Athletic Director Mitch Reddig at Springs. Thanks for to, to Kyle Krieger. Appreciate Noah Mouse sticking around for a few minutes afterwards as well. Thanks to all our sponsors up and down the line providing coverage here tonight. Thanks to our guys, Josh. And the guys uh, running the cameras, appreciate you guys. Jordan King saying so long. Good night from Dodgeland High School. Springs wins it, 66-51 on Radio Plus. Edward Jones Representatives in Fond du Lac, Integrity Saw and Tool, Our Chiropractic, Fondy Family Dental, Baker Cheese. Right Way Home Improvement, Quest Interiors, Addison Jones Real Estate, Holiday Automotive, Taco Bell, Bristol Morgan Bank, Coal Oil and Propane, Pioneer Pit Stop, Marco Tax Service, Pizza Ranch, The National Exchange Bank and Trust, Marine Park Technical College, Silica for your home, Raderman Stone and Landscape, Dufresne Moving and Storage, Winfield Homes, Everson Law Office, Bob's Pizza, Airtech, Winnebago Lutheran Academy, Musa She Metal, Scotty's Auto Works, St. Mary Springs Academy, Camera Casino, Fond du Lac Credit Union, Hopper's Silk Screen and All Star Trophy, New Medical Center, New Thing Industries, Pino Construction, Lens Truck Center, Fox Valley Savings, American Family Insurance Agent Brad Taglia Petra, BCI Burke, Marion University, Into the Woods Wellness, Smith Builders. Today's game is also presented by International Paper and Will Sport. Lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac.